Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2001 Great Flinders Premiership. Cougars and Lock... It's a beautiful day here at Cummins for A-grade final. Wind slightly across the ground, advantage in neither end. The two commentators today are Mr. Wilbur Williams, which everybody knows, and, and Walshy. Thanks, Walsh. Yeah, it is a great day here, and uh, Cougars, the uh, current Premiership holders from last year, um, in pretty good form over the last few weeks. Um, Locke have certainly come uh, from down the doldrums early in the season, and we're in for a cracker jack game, I reckon. If anybody out there would like a completely unbiased report of the game today, please feel free to change to another channel, because I can guarantee between Wilbur and myself that we're um, going to be supporting our respective teams more so than the opposition. Umpires today from Far West, uh, Paul Warmington and Harry Peel. Cougars at full strength, are they, Wilbur? Yeah, pretty well, uh, Walshie. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, Bryant um, lost his place in the side with a suspension uh, from the result of the last time they played uh, Lock in the last of the home and away games. Um, but uh, other than that, I think um, they're as good as they can be. And Lock? Oh, apart from injuries to couple of players oh, and Peel bounces the ball take it away Walshy Lock kicks to the right hand side bounce out of the centre scrambling stuff Craig wears in hard another bounce up David Foster emerged with the ball but the umpire's going to bounce balls won by Tim Zacker down to Andy Hitzel Andy's out of the centre free kick high tackle there Walshy free kick to Britt Crokey Britt clears to the centre half forward line looking for the butcher boy Good strong mark taken by Butcher Boy. Into the centre half forward, bad kick. Craig Ware on the, on the bottom of the pack on the ground, up high to bounce again. Yeah, a few nerves while she, uh, not much uh, in the possessions at this stage. Uh, we've got, I uh, hope that's not uh, anything to do with New York with that plane over top, but away we go. Ball taken by Tom Phelps, trying to clear from the back lines. Again, a bit of a off the ground by David Carr. Lock, bring it back into the centre. Could have been a free and, and is by Peel, and it goes to your bloke number five. Um, Pyro Miller. Nice little chip pass in by Gazza Hetzel. Pyro's a very unpredictable player. He usually tries to do some magic. Nice kick in the centre, right in the full forward. It's carried pretty well, Walsh. In fact, uh, out on the full, no, throw it in. Throw it in rock, Lock's left hand forward pocket. Looks like the two Hetzel boys are in for a bit of attention today, which is understandable. Gus Guyver clears into the full forward line. Butcher boys into it again. Ball's kicked, they're pushed out by the Cougars players. David Foster approaches the ball hard. Looks, it must be very close to the boundary line over there, Wilbur. No, he's got it away, comes Craig, back in. Craig Wheel handballs in. Ball's kicked out on the left forward flank for Locke. Yeah, still plenty of nerves while she um, not much in possessions at this stage. Throw in on the half forward flank, left going in Locke's direction. Comes in now, you've got Zacker and Peddler. Peddler wins that time, but Hetzel's over the ball, can't gather. Cougars get away with it through Starkey, gets it down to the wing, and it's a great mark. One hand of Troy Seagat, the old veteran, gets off the hands pretty quickly, gives it to uh, a Kenny, I reckon it is, but his scrub kick goes in only as far as Locke. Over to you. Troy Wetra clears out of the centre. Oh, she's a pretty scrambly day. What's what's umpire called? Yeah, Starkey was got high, I think, in the centre there, and Starkey from Cougars will get the free. No, in fact, it's gone the other way. I can't see a thing, Walshy. Gaza Hetzel's got the ball right in the true centre. Most of the leads are covered. I think they should be trying to come in on this top side, Wilbur. Yeah, I don't know whether the wind's of any real consequence, but it's just a matter of settling down, and there's a mark on the half-forward line. Yep, yeah, Pyro's got his second possession today. Nice mark, Pyro. Drops it right up to the full forward zone. Troy Wheatra sets himself. Didn't pull it down. Almost. Oh, I should say that'd have to be a high tackle. Yeah, umpire Peel gives it in favour of the Cougars' uh, back line. And I reckon it's Starkey back there again. Been in things pretty early. Ryan Starkey now kicks down the uh, the outside wing. Pyro gets his hand with a nice spoil. David Foster's over the ball. Handball into play to... God, I can't see who number 18 is. Yeah, no, plenty of pressure there, Walsh, since he's out of bounds on the uh, between the wing and half forward. That's Gaza Hetzel again. Last week, apparently, had 47 kicks. 
They said it's because his girlfriend was over. I hope she's here again today. I think you need a calculator, mate. <laughs> We've got Gundy in the gaz. Oh, Andy Edsel's got the ball in the forward pocket. Tried to two bounces and stuffed up in the second one. Yeah, I think the pressure got to him while she and he let it away and gives it back to Tom Phelps, comes out of the back line, finds a Cougar player at Shannon Wren, usually a pretty good runner. He gets it over the top uh, to Charlie. That's Lowby, brings it back inside to Turnbull. Turnbull's on a lead to the coach in Borden. Borden meets the ball, and but there's plenty of competition there. The oldest Pick player for Locke is chasing the ball in Kerr Brown. Yeah, oh, he, he always puts pressure on. Justy Thompson's had a marvellous year this year. Approaches the ball hard. Tim Zach has passed out of the back pocket. Well done, Tim. But Cougars have pushed it down to that forward line and it's uh, in the forward pocket. Um, can't see for the camera, but we can't really shift him. One thing I don't want to see today, Wilbur, is Phelps to Phelps to Phelps to Phelps and goal. It will happen. Tim Zacker gets touched to the ball. We're really in our dead pocket now. We can't see a bloody thing. Another throw in in the forward pocket for Cougars. No score on the border yet. How much time gone, Walshy? Approximately five minutes. Ball up again in the forward pocket. Cougars get a little bit forward, a uh, bit more centre, but Locker there to cover. Justin, Justin Thompson clears from the full back line. Joss Altman lost his footing. Cougar person to have the advantage. Yeah, toss old it is. Plenty, Plenty of pressure there though. Gets oh. around his player, but unfortunately, the boundary umpire's called it out. Now, why'd you call that unfortunate? I thought it was good for us. I didn't think it was out from here, but there you go. Oh, nice tap out there by number 17. Gaza Hetzel picks up his fourth possession. Oh, it's all Cougars. Never underestimate Hetzel. And to Craig Ware. Oh, nicely played, boys. Yeah, the medalist gets it forward, but only as far as Troy Seagat at the centre-half back position. He comes out wide, and right. in fact, it's Troy Seagat now. He must have kicked it to himself. Taken by uh, Maney, puts it forward to Zeb Kenny, another up-and-coming young player. Gets it off to Peddler the Ruckman. He gets on his left. Into the pocket he goes, and Borden's underneath it and takes a great mark. Now, this fellow on his left foot can kick pretty well. He's probably 45 out, and we're in with a chance for the first on the scoreboard, I think, uh, Walshy. Do you know how to jinx a player, do you, Wilbur, by um, briefing him up like that? Comes in on the left. It's a long kick, but it's going to go across the face. And a great big leap from a Cougar player. Didn't get the ball. Nice, nicely crumbed there by the Cougar player, too. Taps through by the lock player. First score is going to be a rush, a behind. rush, rush behind. Still plenty of pressure, Walshie. No, it's a good match, Wilbur. It's all played in good spirit so far. It doesn't look like there's any spite out there. Which we didn't expect. No, it didn't. Brick Roke, he's, um, people want to just watch his attack on the ball. By hell, he's a committed footballer. Bad luck, Dylan. Keep trying, pushing, boy. There's plenty of pressure out there, Wilbur. Yeah, Borden gets another uh, one on the left, but it's smothered, and I think it's gone out of bounds again in that dead pocket, and we'll see another throw in. And that's exactly how it is. Umpire Warmington taking control. Umpires are doing a very good job so far, will we? No doubt about that. They're pretty good uh, experienced blokes. There you are. It comes off the, the throw in. A bit of congestion picked up by Turnbull. Only handballs to a lock player and gets away. Croaky gets a kick away on the left hand wing. Troy Wietra puts pressure on. Troy and, and, Bro and Brick Croaky forces the ball out. Throw in again, Pedler and Zaka. Pedler gets the knock into no. the centre. Lyle Phelps, just too much pace, puts it over the top to his brother Tom. He's, be, he's clear, he'll get around on that left straight. No, he's gone right straight from the centre. Puts it in, but there's only Locke. No one in the forward line, and it's Locke. It's Dylan Kay, probably the youngest footballer out there. Yeah, and had a couple of good week, uh, games in the last couple of weeks too, uh, Walshy. Kay <laughs> clears it away on the outside wing. It's picked up by Hetzel and pushed on a bit further, and I think it'll go out of bounds, and it does. So it's um, Locke's half forward flank, left hand forward flank. Someone's expecting a fair bit of rain while she there's a canoe just went past. <laughs> there's no seagulls here today. Oh yes there is, we've got a bunch of seagulls here on our right hand side. Back to the footy, Hetzel gets another kick but it's smothered again and I think they'll force it out again pretty tight. It's going to be the battle of the fittest here today. This pace keeps up all day, will we? Josh just gets a kick out of the half back line, only as far as the Cougar player. 
there's plenty of pressure there. Nobody's ha having a lot of direct kicks today. Turnbull gets the handball away to Tossold. Tossold get out three young fellas here. Number four is Boyd Kemeny, come up from the Colts. Gets on his left, got plenty of time, and the umpire says he's run too far. far. Can't believe it, Walshy. Oh, he only went about 25 metres. <laughs> no, he's probably... Is Kerr Brown limping, is he? Yes, Brown's injured. I'm afraid Brown's injured. No, he's tough. He'll, he'll bounce back. He must have run a long way because Brown's got injured chasing him. <laughs> Free kick by Lock. Free kick by Justin Thompson. Nigger, nigger clears the half back line. Weedy says flew but didn't pull it down. Boy, oh, she's tough out there, Wilbur. Yeah, plenty of pressure. Warmington's found another free and it's going in, in favour of the Cougars on the half forward line. Still about uh, 70 from goal. But I think a goal will break this game open. Ryan yeah. Starkey with the ball. Cougars have failed up forward in the first few minutes of the game, but um, he comes in again with a pretty direct kick, looking for a big fly from pa Damien Pake, but he's played against him in the back, and, and probably rightly so, Walshy. Yeah, you've got to pull him down if you go for him, Wilbur. You can't just go and hit somebody in the head and say you're going for the ball. I about the head there. I think it was just a... <laughs> uh, yeah, he was... He was had it now then now the ball's off brick Grove, he's got the runner to take a fast man and catch him his, his kick is nearly perfect to pyro pyro misses it butcher boy shepherds it pyro picks up pyro's in the left foot right forward pocket he aims for goals this could go anywhere and it goes straight through the center from here i hope uh no bias comments please <laughs> uh one point went to the left of the goals a pretty good effort from lot they bought it out of the uh, back lines pr uh, pretty cleanly but uh, unable to score and Jackson Shepparding set them up for Pyro. Jeff Phelps, the designated kick out for uh, Cougars. As you know, uh, pretty experienced Walshy. Um, played a lot of games right from league through to uh, club games again and, and dynamite on that left foot. Gets to his brother Tom who comes down. We've seen the first that Phelps to Phelps. A big fly from Zeb Kenny from behind. Off hands from Troy Seagat goes to Maney. Maney puts that up high and Charlie Lowby's underneath it and if it bounces right he's in. He gets a good oh, bounce. Dodged out that nicely. On the right, puts it into the half forward position. Lock oh, again. Dylan Dylan's a um, wall of strength there. Dylan Kay delivers up to Wietra. Wietra takes a nice mark on the, on the wing for the lock. So far possessions would have to be pretty well equal, wouldn't they, Wilbur? I think so. The bounce beats Gussie. Plenty of Cougars. Tapped out to Pedler, he can't pick it up. Gussie, but Gussie Glover's in again. Gets to Troy Wietra. Troy oh, Wietra, yeah. oh, high tackle, but the umpire didn't pull it up. Oh, a bit high for Harry Peel, he can't see that high, Walshy. <laughs> I think he's nearly going to blow it, but um, Cougars had advantage, so he let it play on. OK, Peel throws it up. Pedler and Zaka. Pedler gets the punch again. Troy w Seagat, ever reliable, just gets a drip Tackle's put on by Ware. Across to Gary Hetzel. Gary Hetzel clears to the centre half forward line. Panda cut the handball back to Gaza Hetzel and Gaza Hetzel pass finds Ringo. Rinse it um, full forward. I think this will um, test his distance here, Wilbur. Yeah, outside 50, Walshy. We've got Gussie in the uh, full forward for a so, and this man can take a big leap. Approximately 12 minutes gone. 12 minutes gone, one point apiece with Locke coming in for a shot. Oh, it's uh, a little bit of a grubber, but into the pocket it goes and forced through for a behind by the Cougars' defence. One point to Locke, and all of a sudden they've doubled Cougars' score. <laughs> That's a good stat there, Bruce. <laughs> so at this stage, Locke's had twice as many scoring shots as Cougars. Jeff Phelps to bring it in again. Great left foot, great conditions. Should be able to kick it a mile. Gets on the left and just stabs it to the wing. Shannon Wren can't pick it up, but Cougars can. Charlie Lowby has a bounce going down the outside wing, has another bounce. They're trying to set something up, haven't been clean in the forward lines. And again, off Tim Zacker spoils the ball. Ball goes to ground. Cougars take possession through Kenny and a good mark at centre half forward. And I just can't see that. Play. It's his brother Zeb. I reckon he puts it off to the left foot of Lowby and he pokes it into full forward. But Cougars just can't clean up there and Locke are very determined. Taylor gets away with it. Almost. Yes, no, he does. 
Taylor must have replaced the curve around, did he? I think he did. But it come the crumbs. The crumbs come down to Boyd Kenny and the Colts footballer up from the Colts. What's he done? Uh, Nigga Thompson uh, touched it just on the line. It's touched for a behind. Yeah. Scores back to level. The, the um, stat was very good. Looking for Spud Taylor again. Nice mark. He's got he's got a man free, but I think he's a bit slow to find him. He's going long. I don't think that, that wasn't a real bloody good kick, actually. Troy Seag at the mark. Goes in board, finds Shannon Wren. Hasn't had too much of the ball yet, but he takes away now. And he can run this fella, number 17 for the Cougars. Puts it in pretty neatly, but it's lock again in the back lines, Walshie. Yeah, our fullback and Shane Dodd take it's clears to... Um, I can't do it. See, number five. It's a bit hard to tell from the back. It's Pyro, is it? Matthew Mello. This is developing into a very good game, will we? Yes, yeah, throw in again on the uh, half forward flank for Cougars, but lock, mop it up, comes down the wing. David Foster clears. Only as far as Ryan Starkey. Gets away quickly, plays on, looking. Oh, Gary Hetzel took them. Looking oh, for well. a player, but Hetzel was just too determined and his judgment was so much better and he's. Been awarded the free. The free. He's been awarded the mark, has he? Yeah, that... Either the mark or the free. Yeah. Plenty of desperation there, Walshy. Oh, he's certainly put, putting everything into it today, will we? Kicks towards the centre. Uh, quick kick Off towards the And Gussie. But Glover's just received a free kick, I think. For has given another free. Yeah, he must have hit high. By the and look he's well. found a blood rule. What do you think about this blood rule, Walshy? Oh, I suppose it's there for... I don't know. In our day, we never had it, Wilbur, and didn't kill anybody. But I suppose it's just got to be there for health reasons and um, insurance reasons. This will be an opportune time to go to an advertisement, but unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we haven't got any of them today, so we'll just continue to ramble on. Come on the ground to take his place at oh, 35. Boy, we can have a bit here, will we? Surely you've got some land for sale out around the district, aren't we? Pan out over the hills and, and to have a bit of free advertising for you? All those hills are green and gold. I don't want to look out there, will she? Number 35's come on for you, and that is? Uh, Zach, the shearer. Uh, uh, Isaac. Altman? No, oh. is that his name? Isaac. Where is he? Oh, Hellman. Hellman's Hellman. the man. He's come on to replace uh, uh, the blood rule send-off. It's, it's gone into the forward lines of uh, Locke, but there's plenty of Cougars there. A fair bit of congestion, and the umpire's letting it go on. It's come out the back where... Oh, oh high tackle there. Maney. And he's a pretty big lad, but he got one around the Adam's apple, and he's come away with that Thanks. beautiful left. And, and Tom and... No, sorry, Troy Seagott and Jeff Phelps are going to raffle it on the half-back line. Goes on to Lyle Phelps. And Lyle Phelps marks pretty solidly on the wing. He then goes on short, Shannon Wren. Being pretty quiet, Shannon. He's uh, had a lot of kicks in the last uh, month or so, but he's starting to come into it now. And Tom Jeff Phil Phelps has come all the way okay. from fullback. Is now on the half forward line. He taps it forward. He's still got the. Oh, he's Dylan, you're going to give a free kick and away if you get that up. Well, there you go. The young and the, and the old. And oh, the, the young fella won out for a minute, but he's, Cougars have been able to centre the ball. And again, it's, I think it's Boyd Kenny. I this think it, if he kicks this goal, he could just about put that down to Jeffrey. He's, he's run on. Uh, sorry, forward. this is Zeb Kenny. This is Zeb Kenny. Those two Kenny boys are much like. This is Zeb, the older one. And as we said earlier, Boyd's come up from the Colts and uh, and, and doing his bit for the first quarter of the game. Zeb comes in. Oh, it's oh, not a real off. good kick. It's gone to the right. It may not even score, Walshie. In fact, it's out of bounds for a throw-in. Still plenty of nerves, I reckon, Walshie. Oh, I think she's out in the fall, Wilbur. And you're right. Hmm. Kick in from lock. Wobbly old kick up to um, Pedler. Pedler on the half uh, forward line. He centres the ball, looking. Oh, a lovely mark for the Cougars man at oh, number four. Zeb Kenny again. No, it's Boyd this time. I can't get those boys worked out yet, but we will before the game's out, Walshy. At this stage, it's certainly the young legs are doing most of it, isn't it? So the young, young brigade certainly. Yeah, I think a few of these older blokes might be trying to conserve plenty of energy. I'd say, what, uh, 25 degrees here, Walshy? Yeah, it's a nice day. Nice day for sitting in the shade. <laughs> and it was a cold beer in your hand, you reckon, Wilbur? Oh, that's a nice kick. That's going to be right into the square. Oh, plenty of the, the, five, the, the Cougar, go. And it's cleared by Weetra. He foot, foot brushes past two. Kicks up to young Edsel at the, the lock centre half back position. Andy clears up to looking in for Jackson on the 
Oh, that's the power and panda he was looking for. Peddler picks up, centres the ball, and it's uh, marked by Turnbull. Turnbull goes around, wheels around on the left, and he's got um, Lyle Phelps on his own on the true half forward flank position, and he pokes it quickly straight into Borden, who's led into the true centre half forward position. Probably 50 metres from goal, got that slight breeze behind him, has got a great penetrating left foot, and that's where he goes. But it's, oh, not, a kicks off too. it's not a good kick. There's something wrong with that ball, Walshy, I think. <laughs> and that ball goes out on the right-hand side and the right-hand uh, pocket in the forward line for Cougars. Throw in again. At this stage, who would you say is best for respective side sides? Oh, Gary, Gary Hetzel must have had his sixth kick, I suppose to say. Absolutely. Oh. Good. I think, and there's Tom Phelps, he's yeah, taking the, a great mark at centre forward, yeah, the, and he gets, comes in on the left, we drops seem to, in, there's no one home. We no seem one to, home, Walshy. We seem to be calling Phelps as a fair bit out there too, yeah, don't we? there's plenty of them, yeah. but Locke have been very good in that back line. And Gary Hetzel clears to David Foster. Foster bringing out of the forward pocket area. Cougar's just not able to get together in that forward line as he brings it out. Again, and Brick yeah. Crokey's got the run on the ball, as he knows. Panda clears. It goes to the centre of the ground. Tapped on by Pyro. Oh, heavily a hit. The sea gets hit heavily. And Cougars clear again. Yep, marked by Wren on the, half, uh, on the other side wing. And he goes back and he's trying to set something up here which they've had plenty of penetration in the forward line but unable to make any inroads. But that's uh, Tom Phelps that's drifted down now. And he has a shot for goal, which is going to again be cut out by and Locke. Yeah, Spud takes it on the last line of defence. Is that Taylor? Yes. Taylor clears to the left-hand side of the ground, but it's... Uh, oh, the kick was... Lyle Phelps. Lyle straight Phelps. Lyle Phelps. Mm. And he's within range. Well, see, he'd be um, 40 metres on the left-hand side, about a 45-degree angle, and could bring up the first score. We've gone a fair time in this quarter. 20 minutes. 20 Fox. minutes without a goal. And the game oh, that's gone to the left across. again, too. There's some crumbs. And this is a well goal. Around. I reckon that's Jed Sieg at the centre forward, Walshy. Jed's, I think it might be right. Jed's first kick for the game. He's crumbed off the pack in front of the square and he's poked it through for the first goal for Cougars. After 20 minutes in the quarter, one goal, two to Cougars. Two solitary points to lock and a lot of sweat been, uh, been um, thrown out here at the moment, Walshy. Yes, the next um, centre bounce, as always, is critical. Lock, like have, lock have had plenty of possessions, and um, likewise, uh, probably even, but um, Cougars have gone along uh, a lot of uh, penetration in their forward line, just haven't been able to get past the lock defence. Yeah, Craig Ware kicks out of the centre, right up to the true centre half forward position. Can't, can't, can't quite find Ron Klaska. Yeah, I think the back lines are just winning on both ends, aren't they, Walshy? I mean, um, Cougars have just swamped that now with the Phelps boys at the back that they've been able to clear that out. They'll move it down the wing. Only get as far as young... Uh, Gary hits all again. again. He's had a pair of kicks. Hmm. He passes into the half-forward position, no one under the ball. Again, there's plenty of Cougars and plenty of uh, muscle, but umpire Peel... I think we've found the line again, have they? Uh, no, umpire Peel's given a free to Ryan Stark. He's had a few kicks too on that half-back flank, and he's going to uh, move it down that outside wing. Got a lead oh, from uh, Another young fella, he gets a, takes the mark and plays on quickly, but there's no one there while she it's all lock again. And Dylan Case knocks the ball across the... Fumbled over the line, oh. another throw in. No, it's deliberately a cool head on the young shoulders, that one. Throw in again. Zach's on the bottom of the pack. His handball comes out to Dylan. Dylan's short kick, go looking for Weedy, can't find him. The ball's fumbled. Pyro handball's out to David Foster. David Foster gets the ball and locks right hand wing. He clears it up to the true centre half forward line. A young boy, oh, young um, Andy Hetzel's got some pressure on him today. And it's another Phelps kick. You have no, get, it was a peddler that time. It was a peddler, was it? Oh, a lovely mark by Gus. His first kick and first mark. No. And now is he going to pay that? Or oh, he could nearly you pay it. You can't the... pay him off the ground, Walsh. You know oh, he, could, he could have played the free kick. See it on the screen. See I, it on the I was, screen. I was going to say, I uh, know that one, mark, but he could have paid a free kick. The Gus has got the free kick. Free kick to Glover. Will you give me 10 to 1 he gets it? Uh, no betting here. This is a family show. No, Gus is usually a pretty reliable kick. OK. First um, direct shot on the northern goal. <laughs> Gus Glover hey, for not, lot. That's not north. Sorry, southern goal. Thank you for that. Um, probably about 25 metres is all he's got to cover. And uh, he should plug it to, to level the score again. 
and he does exactly that straight through the middle a great kick coming to the end of the first quarter it's one goal two apiece and what have we got about five minutes while she perhaps yeah we played about 24 minutes i thought wilbur this is a sort of grand final you want to see isn't it yeah there's a lot of endeavor there there's a lot of pressure out there but um, we haven't seen a lot of uh, score on the scoreboard one goal two apiece not many minutes to go in the first quarter um, absolutely magnificent conditions that you know they just can't make any excuses for either the surface or the conditions and it's going to be a crackerjack as Warmington comes in to bounce the ball again. Tim Zach to contest for lock with Pedler with Pedler for Cougars. Oh nice bounce it favours Pedler. Pedler gets plucks it out and kicks. Oh that, actually that's a good bit of play toss there old, Will. Toss old again the young fella. Yeah. Takes the mark on the half forward flank, plays on pretty quickly, stabs it into a lead from. Oh, nicely Kirk. done, Dylan. Just got his Dylan hand to plays it. Plays in the way all the time. Turnbull's. Oh, Dan, and then he attacked the ball with determination. Plenty of Cougars. Lowby wobbles it off the boot into that pocket again, and, and who's there, young Taylor? Takes his time, looking for a lock person. Sends it long down the half back line. Who's there? Frick Rokery. Well done, Britt. Britt steadies. It's on the far wing. Looking for... He's looking for Gus, but he didn't get him. Tom Phelps takes the mark. Just forward of the wing. Going that left, which he does. Take, puts in a short one. Looking for... Uh, looking for oh, Jeff. I think we've got a free it. kick there. And yes, I think they might have uh, polished his number a bit there. While she and he's been paid for a push in the back. He's probably 50 from goal. Uh, Jed's a pretty good kick, but... Um, We'll see. He got the first goal, as you recall, and uh, hopefully he can put another on the board. We, we really want to see uh, plenty of scoring today, Walsh, don't we? Especially for the green and golds, Wilbur. Jed Seagat, the man sitting right on the 50. Just a little bit off centre, comes in that right foot, pretty determined, and but he pokes at it badly, and it, it wobbles into the... just in front of the square. There's a bit of a crumb from... I reckon that might be Charlie Lowby, but I've just got to give me time. No, it's, sorry, it's number one, Corey Turnbull, who took the crumbs and put it through for Cougars' mm. second goal, giving us a scoreline of two goal two to Cougars and one goal two to Lock. Not much in it, Walshy. No, you can't say... It, um, well, that's just a good, good bit of crumbing there by the uh, Capini person. OK, it's Peel this time to bounce the ball in the centre of the ground. Only a few minutes to go, I reckon. And here he goes, puts it down again. Umpiring's been magnificent. We haven't even made any comment. It's again... Cougars wins it out of the centre. Zaka. Zaka. So Zaka. Pedler gets the crumbs, whacks it on the left boot to centre-half forward. The ball Pushing and shoving. Oh, yeah. that looks like oh. a throw. <laughs> oh, the lock boys have been practising with the netballers. Hey, unbelievable. <laughs> Nigger, doesn't, Nigger seems to think he did a Russell Lever to handball. Jed Seagat pokes it into Paik. Hasn't had much uh, influence on the game yet, Paik. He's a big fella. But and Josh he, clears. Yeah, lock again. Yeah. Oh, out. it's a kick that comes off the side of the boot. Troy Seagat. Don't put him down afterwards. And who we got there? Oh, Spud misses it again. Yep, yeah, Spud Taylor cleared. Josh gets another handball off to Locks. Left Tom hand. Tom Phelps. Tom Phelps. He's had a heap of kicks today, will we? Tom Phelps has uh, done a hell of a job coming down from that back line, and and uh, as I said, they're getting down the forward line plenty of times, but just not being able to capitalise. Rick Rokey receives a handball across to Tim Zacker. Tim Zacker pulls his ducks, gets into trouble. Ball goes to the ground. <laughs> Uh, into the Shannon, Renz, Shannon Renz. Will be a goal. No, he's off to the right again well, too, Wilbur. I can't call him. Another point to Cougars. They got a two goal three. Lock one goal two. Who's bringing the ball out? Uh, Brick Rokey. Rokey will he's be a designated kicker for Lock. Yeah, the young fellas on both sides, I think Walshie have been uh, dominant in the first quarter. If you look at um, Tossold and the Kennys, um, you look at, uh, for Locke, the, the Hetzels um, and young Taylor and, and young uh, Dylan okay. Kay. You know, the young fellas, I think, um, as I said. And Zach Gary... takes a nice mark at the centre-half back for Locke. His handball across to Gary Hetzel. Gary Hetzel's, what, 10th position? Looking for Gussie Glover. Oh, the ball wouldn't bounce, stay up for him. The ball's cleared. Another Phelps has another kick. Vinny this time. Oh, skinny Vinny has another kick. And Gazza's got all over the ball again. Gazza knocks across to Zach. Zach clears. He tries, handball's oh, forward. He couldn't nearly have been... Yep. 
Troy Seagat cleans up, pours it back into the forward line, but there's no one again. It's all locked. And Spud Taylor takes another fine mark at, out of the back Young pocket. Young Taylor's been good back there, Walshy. Yes, he's been playing last three weeks. He's played well. Looking for Weitra. Weitra takes a nice mark on locks to our back flank. Half back flank, I suppose you call it. He centres the ball, looking for the Butcher Boy. Butcher Boy goes to the ground, loses his feet. But Pyro's got the front, front spot. Pyro confuses everybody, passes it back to Jackson. Jackson goes across to Ware. Ware gets a nice bounce. Ware will, Ware will put this into the centre of the square. Actually, Ware will might put it through for a goal. It's a great right. goal. Yeah. Great goal on the right from the uh, deep in the pocket, Walshy. Locke had the run of the ball, got it out wide to Ware. The medalist just turned on his right and just dribbled it in. No one home for Cougars. And uh, we see uh, the second goal to Locke late in the first quarter. Scores a two goal three to two goal two. Not much in it. Uh, it's a fine goal from my neighbour. Warmington comes in to bounce and it is warm too. Pake's come into the ruck for Cougars. It's Pake against Zaka. Good bounce by the umpire. Gets down in front of Wren. He can't pick it up out of the sand. Lock can and clear to the outside wing. A good contest there. Both players go to ground. Picked up by Pake from Cougars. One of his first possessions, I reckon. Gets it out wide to Tossel. He's been good. He just pokes it forward. Oh, over Tom Phelps' head. I reckon he's gone to the forward line, Tom Phelps. And Gazza Hetzel picks up yeah, another kick. Yeah, up by Gazza yeah. Hetzel. And had up a, David Foster. Had a ton of kicks, those two fellas. Mm. On the outside wing. Pokes it down long. Oh, big oh. fly from who's that, Walshy? Uh, Pyro. Big fly, but to no avail, and he's given away the free, and Cougars through Ryan Stark. He's been another one of those good young players for Cougars. He uh, clears again from the halfback flank. Boy, he'll should be magnificent. He pulled it down, though, Wilbur. Oh, sure. Hmm. Oh, David Foster falls down a fine mark. Right on the side, and the score's at quarter time. Lock 2-2, two -two, uh, only just behind Cougars, two goals, three. I was going to say he's probably a bit far out to score. <laughs> You want a beer, Wilbur? Let's try this bit of business. Oh, you want a beer? I'll get it. Ron, you want a beer? Send them down to what they're not allowed to do, is he? Here we go. Second quarter, 2001 Great Flinders Football League Grand Final. Snuck out to the Cougars at quarter time, Walshy. Um, Borden pretty happy with their half-back line. Not so happy with the forwards. Let's see what happens in this quarter. Peel bounces the ball at Zaka and Pedler. Pedler gets... I reckon he's winning that ruck, the Pedler, but there's, those Hetzel boys are just getting it away. Into the forward line, half-forward line for Locke. And a bit of a scramble. No, hands out now. Brick Rokey kicks it up to the centre half forward line. Oh, the ball's tapped on. I tried to tap on by Rince, but he missed it. Locke gets the first kick at goal. And that looks good. Did you see who kicked it, Wilbur? No, sorry, I didn't see Oh, Gussie, Gussie must have kicked it away. Everybody's congratulating him. Yeah, I reckon Gussie Glover. A pretty quick um, start to the second quarter by Locke. Gus Glover kicks a goal to put them 3-2 to 2-3. Equal scoring shots. A great day, no excuse for misses. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get to the lock huddle that stage, Wilbur, but you wanted a beer, so I thought I'd better do the right thing and get you one. Pretty hard for you to get past the caravan. Right. Peel put it down again. Going to be a great quarter this one, I reckon. Yeah, both teams are fired up. Puts it down. A bit of an awkward bounce. It favours no one. But Locke have been able to get these balls and Hetzel again off the ground. Left foot into the forward line. Looking for Gussie. Yeah, Spoiled knocked, well. knocked away by Maney. Crumbs there from Locke. Rince kicks it into forward. the forward pocket. Still going forward. Oh, bloody hell. The Locke player is met hard. Is that Gus? Gus hit hard, was it? And Gus gets his um, third shot for goal. Oh, and the umpire's going to give him 50. 50. Yeah. Well, here's a bit of controversy. I think when we see it in the replay, it was a pretty head-eye tackle. Yeah, the lock player was down over the ball. The Cougar bloke came through with plenty of endeavour, collected him high, and the umpire's seen it as a as a 50 metre. Although it's a funny... No, he's, he's brought him around now, and Gus is going to kick the second goal of the quarter. Just walks in. Pops it onto the church bell. Not a problem. Hmm. Well, they won't get the ball back. There's one joker who'd love to be seeing this today is on here, and that's Paulie Pierce. So I'll put his apologies in for him. He had to go to a wedding. He, I was asking him, I would have expected him to be a commentator, actually, Wilbur. 
I wish he was here. <laughs> OK, 4-2 to 2-3. Lock taking a bit of the uh, initiative in the second quarter of kick two goals in the, in the first couple of minutes as uh, umpire Peel puts it down again. It's, Pe it's Pake this time against Zacker. Zacker and, and Pedler have been uh, pretty competitive. It favours Craig where he pops it down to his ruckman. He tries to get it away but only as far as Cougars. And it's poked forward. Jed Seagat can't hold the mark. It's down on the ground. Plenty of endeavour. Over the ball. He could be holding it. No, it's come out. And um, Rin gets a quick kick away with his left. Pedler shows a lot of endeavour, but pushed off the ball. And who's that, Walsh? Um, Dylan Kay Dylan clears. Dylan Kay again. Just used strength and just strength to bring it away. And ability beyond his years. Actually, there's a lot of Uddy. She's fiery. Uh, she's um, hard out there, Wilbur. It's a good day. Good game. Yeah, negated on the half forward flank for Cougars, and, and umpire Peel's going to put it down again. Tell you what, that Wren's picked up a few kicks today, will we? Yeah, he's pretty good in the centre and can run like a hare. This um, this close in stuff um, not helping the game at this stage after lot come out of the blocks brilliantly in this second quarter to kick two goals. But and Tim Zacker wins the tap, cleared by Brick Grokey. Brick Grokey runs, kicks with his right up the centre, looking for Andy Hetzel. Andy Hetzel spoiled. Seagat gets the ball in the centre of the ground. Nice handball, finds Phelps. Phelps clears. To his man, who's that? A Kenny, uh, is it? Young boy, Kenny, hmm? the young fellow from up from Colts. Is it? No, he's a Colt. He's, he's certainly holding his spot well today, yeah. Wilbur. Pokes in on the left, looking for the leader, Borden. He can't mark. Taylor again out of the back line. Spins out of trouble. Yep. Gives the handball. Handball across to Ware. Ware goes up to the centre half forward line, but it's marked Maney, by Maney. Marked by Maney. Strong in defence. Goes wide, looking for Shannon Wren again. He gets under the ball and he wheels around on that left foot. Leaves his, uh, I'm sorry, in his right foot, leaves his player for dead, but it's Taylor again yes, in the half back line. He's he probably had six kicks and he come on late in the first quarter. He tries to clear down the out the wing. Cougars oh, she's on the plenty of them, but he's overrun the ball. Gets it now, puts it into Wren. Wren gets away from his player. Good handball inboard to Lyle Phelps. He uses the right to poke it straight into Boyd oh, Kenny, and again he gets a mark. He's been good, this young fella. And he's uh, right on the edge of the centre square, goes left with a good one straight into Borden on the chest. And there's the coach, Borden, from 50 metres out. He's pretty um, uh, penetrating on that left foot, uh, Walshy, but whether he can uh, make the grade here only, we'll wait and see. Cougars needing a couple of goals to get back in the game. Lock started brilliantly in the second quarter with um, two, both kicked by Gu uh, Gussie Glover. Borden on the left. Okay. Yeah. Pretty positive that time may have gone a little bit left, and it has one behind only. Two four to Cougars, two four two to Lock. Brick Grokey kicks wide, looking for Hetzel, and Hetzel take. Oh, he, he fumbled the man, did enough to put him off. Gaza kicks up to the half uh, forward line, but that's Tom another, Phelps. Another Phelps. Tom Phil's playing a great game now on the half back line. Just stabs it with the left in short. Oh, looking for Lyle, but it's smothered. Spot, spot by where? Off by Troy. Back to Shannon Wren. He's having a real party this quarter. Off to Turnbull on his left. He puts it out wide on the outer flank. And, and Taylor, gonna, Taylor's wins oh, yeah, the Taylor, Taylor wins the race. Yeah. And, and it, gets the handball away. Oh, puts the man under pressure. Grokey clears to Taylor again. And Spud puts her up. Where's it going to go? Is that going to make it? Yes. Is he going to get past? Well done, Zach. No. Yes, no. What's going on? Boundary line must be there somewhere, Wilbur. I think you're a bit undecided, Walshy. Yep. Yeah. Well, she's fairly willing out there, Wilbur. Throw in again on the half uh, forward flank for Lock. One by Cougars. Ryan Star. No, it's uh, Vin Phelps this time. Puts it down the outer wing. All Lock there. Picked up by. Who's that? It's Tim Zacker. Zacker. The, the Not a very good kick, though. Picked up by Turnbull. He tries to handle. Tackle by Ware. Comes across to Gary Etzel again to Phelps. Kicks into the centre. Yeah, that ball seems to be holding up in the air, doesn't it? Um, Dylan Kay marks yeah, right in the Dylan centre of the ground. He's been good, Walsh. He's been good. Yeah, he's very, very good short right hands, in the hasn't he? Of the he indicates he's going to the right. Should have been played on, but umpire Harry Peel standing behind him. He knows what's going on. Stabs it short. Oh, oh big punch from. Cougars. But and David Foster up. gets a kick, kick away to the locks half forward flank, but smart by Cougars, handball off. 
goes to the boundary line. Shannon That's, Wren again. Just, hmm. he, he must wing. add 12 quicks, will we? On the outer wing, he uses the right, goes down looking for Jed Seeger, who hasn't been in the game that and much. Crokey gets a hand, hand pass out, across to Justin Thompson. Justin Thompson handballs, fumbles, picks up again, then kicks to the boundary line. Who's the centre half back on Jed Seeger, Walshy? Uh, Justin Thompson. Yeah, he's done a hell of a job because Jed Seeger's had about two touches, I reckon. A real good contest there. Throwing on the outer side. Cougars take possession. Force they'll find, it down. They'll find the boundary line again. <laughs> Throwing on the outer wing. Lyle Phelps this time does a rucking for Cougars, tries to get it down to Turnbull, he's not successful. Craig Ware gets it out. To Grokey, Grokey. Another handball. Grokey handball finds Foster, Foster handball across to Zach. Zach gets the kick. She's a floaty old half half spiral bloody punt kick that's One went, where the, yeah, went to ground. Jackson, the, the butcher, picks up. Balks, handball's back to Gussie. Gussie pops her up into the full forward zone. I think she should be just about on the boundary line there, will we? No, mustn't be. Pretty scrambly at the moment. Cooper's and pretty, and pretty willing. Come away through. Ryan Stark, he gets it on to Maney. He kicks forward. Shannon Renz takes the club crumbs and just runs away with it. Here Stabs it. it down the wing. And who's there? Brad Tossold. He wheels around on the right. Puts it into Jed Seeger, who's got one now. Yeah, and he very good skills to pick it up. Then. The young Colt, Boyd Kenny now. Can the ball bounce right? And Taylor's back there and he's got all the pressure on oh. his own. There's a fair bit of physical pressure there too. And ball comes out and it's Taylor again. Taylor clears to the outer side. He's done a hell of a job, young Taylor. And uh, the ball hits the ground. Gary Hetzel gets handballed across to Josh. Oh, and Josh can't uh, control it. Josh handballs across to Tim Zacker. Tim Zacker, the ruckman, handballs to his rover. And Gary Hetzel, Gary Hetzel's on the ground, handballs back to Josh. Josh got the ball on the halfback line. Oh, tackled high, no. Looks for the boundary. There's nobody out there willing to give away an easy kick, is there, Wilbur? No, she's pretty tight, Walshie. She's, she's pretty tight. Thrown in again. Rucks go up. Ball to ground. Lock, plenty of numbers. Handball. Gets on the right. Puts it back down along the wing. Another Hetzel kick. Shannon Wren, under the oh, ball. Meets yeah. the lock player. And, and real heavy. And Picked and up and by Tom Phelps having a great game. He pokes it with a left down the side to the half-forward line. It's gone out of bounds. Young Tosso just couldn't hold it there. And it'll be thrown in. 50 no, metres from the Cougars goal. Nobody's had, um, uh, uh, you know, really been winning these boundary thrones, are they? No, the uh, rucks are uh, pretty even. Hmm. Comes to ground again. Lock have been better on the turf, I reckon. But again, it's going to be balled up by Harry Peel. <laughs> There's going to be some tired boys out there tonight, will we? Throw up again. Everywhere's got it. The handball's taken off by the Cougar. Have they found the line or found a free kick? Free <laughs> kick for Hank. Oh, we've got a fight going on now. What's well, that I about? Call it that. I just call it, they're just uh, saying uh, good day to each other over there. Walsh, I don't think there's too much in it. But uh, Lock have got the free. And Craig Ware's got the ball on the just back of wing. Nice long drop punt into the half forward flank area. Ball goes to ground again. Pushed out by a lock player to Jackson. Jackson handballs to Pyro. That's still ball still on the ground. Another ball up. The umpires are earning their money today, will we? Yeah, doing a pretty good job too, I think. Um, and once the ball gets on the ground, there's a fair bit of determination and not much clearance as we see a, a bit of a change off the bench. 37 for you, Walsh. Who's that? Troy Wheatra. Wheatra's coming off the bench. We're not sure who went off, but um, um, oh, we're, we're probably running 19. Oh, well, you might have to, I think. <laughs> OK, Peel throws it up. It's just forward of the uh, wing for Locke, but it's Tom Phelps again who's playing a great game. And he receives a free away. kick. Yeah, well, he's ridden in the ground after he got rid of the ball. I yep. think that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah, he got the free enough. kick, yeah. And it'll be a good penetrating left footer. He makes a lot of me. He goes with the right and puts it down to the wing position. Plenty of cougars there, but can't pick the ball up. Plenty of pressure from Locke. The ball's down, and Normington says, I'll have the ball, fellas, and we'll have another throw up. So far, the umpires have to be 9 out of 10, wouldn't they, Wilbur? Yeah, I think so. I think they've done pretty well. He's just found a bloke with a, with a bit of uh, a claret running out of his eye, and he said, you better go to the bench, son, and we'll get another one on. Hmm. Nothing spiteful, Walshie, just uh, part of the game. Ah, she's only just, everybody just having a good hard go at it, Wilbur. 
Just check that score line. Four goal two to two goal three. Locks way. Yeah, 11 points in it. Hmm. Justin Olsen comes on for Kyrgyz for his first run, goes straight to the back line to relieve Tossold, who'll go forward. Tossold's been pretty good for a young fellow. Uh, played under 17s for Ports for a couple of games this year and, and uh, really shown some maturity along with Boyd Kenny. They've played pretty well so far. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Gary Hetzel gets another kick. Cross to Ware. Ware pulls, plucks it out of there, then delivers a nice little pass into Gussie. Now Gus, that's a beautiful kick. Looking for the full forward. Ball goes to ground. David Foster and Craig Weir leading the race of the ball. Ryan Clusk has got the ball, handballs across to David Foster. David Foster's left foot into the full forward on. And we've got Andy Hetz. Well, Andy Hetz ball handballs across to Brick Grokey, and Brick Grokey finishes it off with another goal to lock. Nice bit of teamwork there, fellas. Yeah, they've um, been uh, pretty crisp in that forward line, Walshy. Um, that's something that Cougars haven't been able to do. They've been forward plenty of time but haven't been finishing off. But uh, Locke's shown uh, plenty of ability to share the ball around and the coach, Grokey, gets his first goal for the day. Well, will be. You'd have to say there's not one passenger out there and everybody's committed to playing a good game of football. Yeah, I think that... Uh... This is great for us spectators. Yeah, well, you can see them. They're just leaping off their seats here. Hmm. And what's, what's more, it's so much easier where we're sitting to pick all the faults too, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Peel puts the ball down again. Peddler, Zaka. No, um, no, no clear winner. Ball goes to ground. Picked up by Craig Weir. Craig Weir handles out of centre. Straight Seagert. to straight to Seagat. Seagat handles in front of him, recovers, handles again. That's a good bit of play too, Wilbur. Oh, nice, nicely tackled by Brick Rogan. Olsen just come onto the ground, gathers pretty well, puts it on his right and spears it into the pocket. Plenty of pressure on the Cougars player. Full back and Shane Dodd. Toe pokes it out. Little trouble. Lockheads for the line. Another boundary throw in. Yeah, Cougars still can move that ball pretty well to the half forward line, Walshy, but that's as far as they get in it because that back line of Locke's playing pretty well. Yeah, goals are hard to come by today, Will, but you don't want to... Neither side will want to let anybody get any more than three goal in front. Locke comes out of the centre. Krawitra to Grokey to Craig Ware. And everywhere spears it into Gussie. Oh, nearly a one-handed pick-up by Gus. Gus has got it. Dodges again. Handball's out of trouble. Cross to Zach. Zach was a body like a little terrier when he's fighting for a ball. I don't know who just did that. Oh, that was um, Gazza, was it? Number, no, Pyro number five tried a bit of fancy work. Pyro handballs across to Gus. Gus on hands and knees. Doesn't get anywhere. Who's going to clear this out? Pyro went in hard. Pyro, Pyro. Pyro yeah. It's a free. Oh, he's only one going for the ball then, Wilbur, I suppose. Or oh, somebody's cougar boy down with a, holding his face a bit? No. Matthew Miller, the kick from Locke's um, right-hand forward flank. Lovely kick in. Looking for Troy Wietra. Ball goes to ground. Picked up by Gussie. Gussie handballs across to Gazza. Gazza's in trouble, but that doesn't worry Gazza. Gazza handballs back to Gus. Gus lets go for goal. And oh, boy, oh, that's good. No. Nearly was, Walshie. Just away to the right, one point only. Locke's starting to really put some pressure on this game. That's a three-goal difference now, Wilbur, which is pretty handy league. Ten goals are hard to come by today. Absolutely. A um, bit of cloud cover coming over to relieve the, uh, the heat uh, situation for the players, but still plenty of pressure. Yeah, yeah we're only 15 minutes in the second quarter too, so there's a lot of football left here yet today. Jeff Phelps kicks out beautifully, picked up um, Mark by Seagert who plays on immediately, puts it in the centre to Zeb who's been pretty, uh, sorry Jed that's been pretty quiet, he mm. wheels around, puts it in now. And oh lovely Mark. Great Mark. Oh he's, he's played on. called to play on, called to play on, I don't know what's going on here. Oh well, the pressure's put on by Locke. Nigger, Nigger clears across half-back flank, looking for Gazza Hetzel again. And get, Gazza comes up about, it seems like, possession number 57. Don't exaggerate. <gasps> he must have 20 though, Wilbur. Exactly. Settles it down at, center, at the half-back and goes wide. Looking for Taylor, is it? No, Wietra. Wietra, and he carries the ball out on the... Straight across the ground on the outer wing. The scoreline, 5-3 to Locke. 2-3 to Cougars. Throw in. No one can take it to Sauceville. Craig Weir across to Wietra. Wietra um, kick to the wing. Gus um, Glover is leading the race of the ball. He's, he's met heavily. Ball goes to the ground. Oh, lovely play by um, Cougars to get the ball across to young Kenny. Kenny clears up to the half-forward line. 
Ball's bought by lock. Ball's the ground again. She's tough out there. Nice handball by Gaz across to Britt. Britt delivers across to Pyro. Ball bounces up. Pyro's in trouble. Pyro handballs across to David Foster. David Foster on his left looking for Butcher Boy. And oh, it's a mark. Mark taken by Panda. Panda's our specialist goal kicker. He usually can pick up two or three a game. Ball, Jeff Phelps. Knocks it away to David Carr, who comes straight down the centre, but there's only lock. And Tim Zacker, oh, the gutsy, nice, nice Mark Logger. 21 year old's been rocking quite well the last three games, Wilbur. Right in the centre of the ground, heading for the northern goal. Comes out wide. No one, oh, well, toss old. Brick Grokey, Brick Grokey crumbs. He goes for goals and. He's plugged in the. No, he's just off, is he? He's missed it. Hmm. Actually, Locke's uh, last first quarter, Wilbur, I would have said the um, Cougars are crumbing better, but this quarter seems like Locke is. Yeah, there's just no method in anybody's game. That's a great kick by Jeff Phelps. Kicking out from the behind finds Shannon Wren 60 metres from goal. Great kick. He'd have to be the second highest possession getter after Gary Hitzler yeah, well, there today, young, wouldn't he? These young fellas are going to dominate today because of the heat, I think, um, Walshy. But, um, yes, both of those fellas have played very well. Cougars get it to Lyle Phelps, who pokes it into centre forward. This is where they fall down. Borden, the coach, comes out, traps it, gets a handball away to Starkey. Starkey's caught pretty quickly by Impact. Taylor and, and his mob, and they bring it to ground, and I think there'll be a throw-out by uh, umpire Peel. Hmm. Tackle was played by David Foster, just did enough to make him lose possession of the ball. The Cougars probably need a goal from this uh, uh, onslaught, Walshy. Comes to ground little toe poke off the ground only goes over the boundary line. No, it's no, gone through for a point. One more to Cougars. 2-4 to 5-4. And Dylan Kay marks on the defensive side of centre half back, front and centre of the ground. Now if I was you Dylan, I wouldn't kick towards where Geoffrey Phelps is. Locker holding on to the ball, looking looking to, to keep possession. Dylan signals he's going to kick long. Goes to the centre of the ground, looking for David Foster. Oh, lovely mark taken by Phelps. Tom Phelps, yeah, Tom mm. Phelps playing a great game. Gets on the left quickly, pokes it in to his, to his brother who can't mark. But there's young Boyd Kenny again. He's knocked off the ball. Rescued by Locke. They had and a couple Dylan, of handballs. Dylan Kay goes across to Josh. Josh just handballs, goes across to Shannon Weitra. Shannon Weitra handballs intercepted. Only uh, as far as Jed Seagert, who comes out very strong and passes to Justin Olsen, who's come off the bench. And he'll have a go at goal, probably 40 metres out uh, on a 55 degree angle. Uh, well, she hasn't got me protractor, but about that anyway. He'd just about sink this, wouldn't he, will we? Uh, yeah, pretty strong, says, a pretty yeah. strong kick, um, Olsen. Uh, depends on his accuracy, I think. Pretty deliberate. Puts it up high, and I think he's done a good job. It's a goal. Cougars get one back. Yeah, Cougars have settled down in the last four or five minutes. What's all these bloody crowd out there barracking for Cougars for? I thought we were all here barracking for lot. you got your fair share of supporters too, have you, will we? Yeah, I'm... Um, uh, I think she's pretty even. A great crowd here at Cummins today. Uh, well, she there's not a parking space this side of the pub. It'd have to be one. Uh, it'd have to be one of the bigger crowds we'd had a grand final for a few years, wouldn't it? I would think so. I think um, you know the weather's really brought people out today, and uh, uh, there was no doubt it was going to be a good spectacle. We haven't seen the best of it yet, but uh, Warmington puts the ball down again. Yelena was Shannon Wren favoured. Gets the ball. He's He's got a free because he was dragged away without the ball, and you saw that, Walshy. Yeah, oh, he yeah, the yeah, umpires are doing good. Um, Yelena was the only team not represented in the final today, anyway, wasn't it? So we've got. Uh, no, Tumby didn't have much here today, but anyway, let's get back to the game. Mm. Um, Craig Ware gets it away with a great handball through to Shannon Weitra. Shannon Weitra's kick along the ground finds Gussie Glover. Gussie chips it across to Jackson, and Jackson takes a nice mark. Actually, he, he should just about try this, Wilbur. He'll drop it in the square. I don't, he might be just out of his distance. Yeah, Gussie Glover's been good on that half-forward line, uh, Walshy. Yeah, Gussie's pretty brilliant most times. First two goals of the quarter, and he set a couple up. Comes in deliberate. But he's dragged it, Walshy. 
she's been uh, lucky to score. No, she's made a point. Uh, Cougars are kicking to the right of goal up. That's not, well, no kicking that in too, Wilbur. What are you suggesting? Like you said, the ball's bugged. <laughs> I don't know. I think these things just happen, don't they? Pate to uh, kick in for Cougars. Stabs it with the right, straight into the true centre-half back position. And, and Grokey takes a fine mark. Well, uh, that was unbelievable. He, he took the mark against Maney, who's probably given him a fair few inches, and, and it's a great mark. But yeah, it looked, didn't even look like he touched it for a start, did he? But he must have. Five out. I'm doubt, is he, can he kick that far? Yeah, he can kick it. He, he, this joker leads by example. Oh, well, he's kicked it to the scoreboard. Uh, he's looking, looking, looking for a uh, specialist forward pocket there in Panna. Boys are over the ball. What's going to happen here? Another ball up soon, I would say. Yes, I think so. Umpire Warmington comes in to bounce again in the right in the forward pocket for Lock, right in front of the scoreboard. <coughs> oh, she's scrambling out there now, and she? she's tough. Lock gets handled to, straight to the boundary line. Is umpire going to find a free kick, or is he? Found one for Cougars. I didn't see what it's for, but the uh, way these jokers are umpiring, I should say it'd have to be mean there. Yeah, they've been good, Walshy. Uh, scoreboard 35 to 22. David Foster sets himself, and the ball goes to ground again and forced over the boundary line in Locke's left hand pocket. Craig Weir and contests the ball, ball's on the ground, across to Wren, Wren, how he's played well today. He has too. And, yeah. got and we've got a paddock out there and one, one lock player, but I think it's going to beat them all to the boundary line somehow. No, young Andy Hetzel's there, Andy Hetzel taps it clear, is that Dylan? Dylan's come up from the back line and now he's passed it into the forward line into his captain, into his captain coach. Well done Dylan. Yeah, he's been good, that young Kay on the half-back line. I'm not sure whether he's there now, but um, if we look across the ground, we can see um, four players uh, forward or centre. Yeah, I think he's followed his man up, and uh, I think he's as well as worked for Locke, actually, hasn't it, Wilbur? It has. Players fly, four through for a behind. Yeah, plenty of flyers. Mm. Who's kicking out? Phelps? No, Pike's back Pike, there now. Pike's. Pike on his right. Brings, he's got, Goes a, a distance. got a paddock and he's found Turnbull nearly in the centre. Oh, lovely handball. Handball's off to Charlie Lowby. Charlie Lowby can run, but he puts it on the boot. Looking for Jed Seagat. He's been pretty well looked after, Jed Seagat, today. And again, he, no, he gets the Krems this time. Gets on the left and pokes it in there. No one can take the mark. Jeff Phelps up there at the moment, but it comes out to Cougars. Handball for Turnbull goes to Seagat. Seagat's barraged by the lock players, and it's bottled up again. No, Justin Olsen gets another kick, but unfortunately this time he's gone to the left and one point uh, results. Cougars must be trying to get a bit of height up in that forward line, will Yeah, well, Phelps has come down. Phelps uh, has that roving role of coming out of the back line. Um, Pike's gone back there, he has been rucking with uh, with uh, Peddler, and that's let uh, Phelps free to go to full forward. <laughs> Kick out from Lock. Looking for Craig Ware. Craig Ware spoils the ball, goes to ground. These players have put their hand up after they've tackled. Do you ever see a free kick of wood? No, I, it's like uh, being underwater and putting your hand up. It doesn't help me much. Hmm. Doesn't seem to, does it? Yanni results in a throw up most times. Cougars win the win the throw up. Brick Grokey emerges with the ball, hand passes across to Wary. Wary this is dangerous. Here comes Wren. Wren's yeah, well Wren. done, Wren gathered. Yeah, he Turnbull. Under pressure, he can try the ball. Starkey, Josh. he can't handle it. Oh, ball Turnbull drops. steals it. Puts it on his right. He's a left footer, and you could see. But he's found in the pocket, Tossold. Tossold quickly plays on. And Jed Seagat has marked 25 metres from goal on a 45 degree angle. And I would suggest to you, Walshy, that Cougars need this goal. Great work from Tossold, the youngster. Well, the lead will be down one goal one if he gets it, Wilbur. Actually, this is probably nearly the last, last scoring shot of the game. I think we've been going somewhere in the 26 minutes. Comes in pretty deliberate, Seagat. He's had a tough time at that's in our forward. It's a great kick. 
it's a great kick straight through the middle and that gives uh, Cougars uh, a little bit of hope back on the job. The scoreboard reads lock five goal six. Four goal five. Cougars four goal five. Mm. It's, it's still a great game. Bit of cloud cover now, not so hot. It'll help those players to keep going. That's 28 minutes gone in the second quarter, so it's a very handy goal this late. Yeah, bearing in mind, Locke got the first two in this quarter and looked as though they might run away, but Cougars have held their heads. Warmington comes in to bounce again. Pedler, Zacker. Favours Pedler, but Zacker had got the best of it. Went to Turnbull, out to Wren. He's done a hell of a job, that Wren. Back to Pedler, back to David Carr. He puts it on the left, looking for Tossold. He's a great player, this young Tossold, and he marks on the, on the true wing position for Cougars. He's been an inspiration, this young fellow, and he plays it quickly down in the corner into the pocket for Cougars, for Borden. He can't mark. Charlie takes the crumbs, scrubs one into Jeff Phelps. Now, anything could happen here. Anything could happen here. He runs around his man, goes onto his favoured left, gives it a shot, and what's he done? He's goaled it. It's a great goal from Jeff Phelps. A great goal. Cougars right back in this game, gentlemen. 5-6, yeah, 5-3. Cougars have gained the initiative late in the second quarter, haven't they? Yeah, I think uh, bringing Phelps down in the forward line, leaving Pedler in the ruck, um, Pake's gone back to full back. These young fellas of uh, Kenny and Tossold, Turnbull and Wren have really lifted their game for Cougars. Hetzel's gone out of the game, I think you'll agree, and uh, suddenly we're back to an even ball game. Yeah, one point of difference. <laughs> Only a few minutes left in the quarter. Warmington puts it down again. It's Pedler against Zaka. Again, Pedler wins, but it's... Gazza heads off the ground into the Locks half-forward zone. Phelps. Saved by Tom Phelps again. Phelps goes to the wing, looking for young Kenny, is it? Tossold. 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 Have a great quarter, Tossold. Mm. Yes, Savati. Cougars are certainly... Oh, David Foster intercepts the ball. Handballs across to Tim Zaka. Tim Zaka gets on his boot. Oh, it's a, the place, kick not place. David Carr marks, plays on, pokes it into the half forward position. Borden's pushed under the ball by Taylor. Comes to uh, number 14 for Locke. Nigger. Nigger, he gets it away, but only as far as Jed Seagat. He picks it up and puts it through for another goal. And here they come, the, uh, the last year's Premier's Cougars have hit the front. Only a few minutes to go. And they've done all this in time on, Wilbur, the bastards. Hey, uh, please keep it clean. Yeah, there's been some great football in the, in the dying minutes of this uh, second quarter from those young fellas I've mentioned already, Wren, Tossold, Kenny, Lauby, and um, I think that um, we're in for a crack of that. Jack's second half, Cougars have just hit the front, not much time to go. Warmington puts the ball down again. Ball's knocked out of centre, ball's on the ground and locks half centre half forward line. Right on the end of the cricket pitch. Roos got to get the um, the Roos have to get the momentum back in their game again. Will we? Yeah, scoreboard lock five six, Cougars six five. Pedler wins again, doing pretty well in the rut. Comes out to Lyle Phelps, he can't pick it up, but there's uh, no he follows it up pretty well, gets a handball away. Tom Phelps has been great this. First two quarters, Justin Olsen has to get rid of the ball. He's played well since he's been on yeah, too. Yeah, he has too. Plenty of pressure. Gazza heads or handballs across to Craig Weir. Craig Weir delivers up to Locks, half fourth flank area, and finds Andrew Hetzel. Andrew Hetzel moves the ball on, looking for the full forward in Ryan Kluska. The ball's knocked forward. Picked up by the Rutland pedal and he puts it out wide and finds Lyle Phelps. He's got a pat to work with. He touches the ball on the ground, then kicks with the right, puts it in the half forward line, and it's marked by Jed Seagat, who's really come good in the last uh, 10 minutes. And there's the siren at half time. Lock 5 6, Cougars 6 5. A lead of five points. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's, we didn't need time on in this game, Wilbur. You kicked three goals in that time. What looks so happy about it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you going to change over there and Tom went up there, didn't they? Jeff. Yeah. Jeff, I mean, yeah. Oh, we've got a good second half of footy coming forward for a second. In half of the 2001 Grand Final, uh, into the Cougars' rooms, pretty happy with the back line, but not, not a bit of a tidy up in the forward line. What happened at Locke? Fritz wants the players to get back to basics. Just back up, run, 
and don't don't let the jokers get an easy kick. OK, comes out of the centre. Lock again through where he's pulled down. Might get the free. No, he's caught holding the ball. That's a pretty brave decision to start the quarter and, and Turnbull, who's a good tackler, will take the ball just backward of centre. Goes on that left and drives it in. And who's there? Craig Maney. He's been put up forward. Was down back? No, it's not. It's Jed Seagat. And he's put that ball beautifully straight in and David Carr, who's gone on the forward line, 35 metres out, could plug one to start the quarter for the Cougars. Just a start, Locke didn't want. Uh, had a bit of a yarn with the umpires too. They're happy with the way the game's being played. They just reckon it's just a good game. Yeah, and they've done a pretty good job. I think they've controlled it from the outset, uh, Walsh, and uh, they've taken control, and it, makes, it does make a good game. Hmm. In comes Carr. Definite shot on goal. Bit of a starter, but he's done it pretty well. Straight through the centre. If it's going to make the distance, I think it's short. Plenty of... Oh, free kick. Oh, I don't know. Well, she has looked a oh. pretty haphazard down there. Yeah, but anyway, pretty Lock, Lock have saved it. Yeah, pretty ordinary tackle. Could have been gone a free kick in his way. Um, Kerr Brown this uh, twisted his ankle. May play, may not. Doesn't really know. He'd like to. Oh, now what's that? Has the ball gone through or... Must have. Not getting any arguments. It, it was a quick kick off, off the pack. It's gone through for one point. Oh. Lock to kick in. Frick Grokey to bring the ball back in. He plays on, takes one bounce and clears to the, to the Lock's half-back flank where the ball's taken by Matty Meller. Goes towards the centre looking for Gazza Hetzel. Gazza, Hetzel and um, Young Ren have been the two biggest possessions getters for either side. And Gussie Glover takes a nice mark. Lock goes, Gus goes to Lock's half forward flank to Spud Taylor. And Kapini's falls well in Lock's forward pocket. Yeah, Vinnie Phelps over the top there for the spoil. Another one of those Phelps just goes out of bounds. Throw in um, forward pocket for Lock. Not too many there, and Gr Lock grab it, gets it the boot, but only as far as Vinny. Puts it on the left and tries to keep it in. Does he keep it in, Walshy? Ball still in, ball still in play to David Foss has got the ball. Ball's forced over the ground. Over the line, not over the ground. Hello, Gerald. Way back. <laughs> ball up by Warmington. Forward pocket for Lock. Peddler. Where? Where wins. Ball goes to ground. She's tough out there. Nobody's given anything away. She looks like a rugby scum there, Wilbur. And, Lock, and Locke's moved another yard. Warmington to throw it up again. Peddler. Where? Peddler wins. Turnbull tries to knock on. Ball's on ground. Handball comes Jackson out. Jackson gets the ball out. Wren. Wren. It's a handball away, and it's out of bounds right in front of the commentary position. The score shows lock 5-6, Cougars 6-7. Throws in. Ball's contested by Ware. Peddler. Turnbull. Got high on Turnbull, and Turnbull will take the free. Gets the ball moving anyway, Wilbur. Left foot down the wing. No one home. It's all lock. Mark's taken by Tim Zaker, Locks Ruckman. Takes a bit of guts to do that back in, in, into a pack. Oh, his kick's not good. Sets up Craig Ware. But a great falling mark by uh, Corey Turnbull. And he'll drive it forward for Cougars on the left. Goes now with a wobbly sort of a kick. Doesn't help the forwards much. But Jeff Phelps is up there. And he tries and, to and keep And the ball's in. forced to the boundary line by Shane Dodd. Another, yeah. another throw in. Yeah, Cougars haven't been too clean in the forward line, Walsh. In that last few minutes of the second quarter, they did it pretty well. But other than that, they've been... Uh, Craig Ware wins a tap to Brick Grokey. Brick goes, gets past his man, handballs forward of himself. Oh, he tried to get cleaned up, but you've got to be fast to do that to Brit. Pyro's got his head over the ball. Pyro comes out with the ball. Handballs across to David Foster. David Foster's twins spins, gets to Craig Ware. Craig Ware's little, little kick hits... Troy Wheatra, Troy Wheatra bounces it off to Gar at G Gazza Hetzel, Andy Hetz. Oh, Gazza's got the bloody thing now anyway, and he's kicked, delivered in the forward line for a sport by Cougars. Cougars clear from the half-back line. Yeah, that was Starkey that was uh, pretty good in the backs there, and he puts it out on the outer wing, and there's plenty of pace there from Tossol, but he can't get the ball. He's taken by Josh. 
puts it inside. Looking for Craig, Craig Ware. Ware's got about four to beat and does it easy. And everywhere, and everywhere gets another kick. Across to Britt Crokey. Britt Crokey's handball is good up to Pyro. Now Pyro will do something with this. Pyro's kick up, up looking for Gussie Glover and Gussie marks hard deep in the lock's right forward pocket. Can he kick it? Well, Phelps got one there on the right and he's a left footer, but he's passed it in quickly into the centre and who's there? Pyro, Matty Miller. Matty Miller, 15 metres out, 45 degree. Could be the goal that Locke are looking for. You meant to say impossible angle, will we? I used to get them from there, wasn't you? Well, I got to admit, I never could. No, he's pushed it left. One point only. Five seven to lock. Six seven to Cougars. One goal in it. Nice bit of play to get up in the forward line, so. A lot of it due to Brick Grokey's hard work. David Foster sets himself and takes a nice mark just outside 50. Handballs across to Brick Grokey. Brits handball across to Jackson. Jackson bends over, picks up, snaps out of the forward pocket. Oh, a Ryan Cougar. Starkey, great effort. Shit, there's no easy um, sessions out there, is there, Wilbur? Yeah, Ryan Starkey's been in the back line uh, changing off the ball, and he's been excellent there, Walsh, in another great save. But Locks just seemed to have... Gussie Greifer flick, flick, plucked it out of there, tried to kick for goal. Who's this joker number 50? He's played well since he's been on, Wilbur. Justin Olsen, been very good. How old's he? He's only a young fella, but... Um, Ball's forced out on the um, wing here, thrown in again. Crokey Seagat and, and Grokey. Crokey, Grokey emerges from and his handball. Get on the boot, Weedy. And Lyle Phelps. End of Phelps. <clears throat> Go short to Wren. Had a lot of kicks, Walshy. Yeah, played very well. Would be Cougar's best at this stage. I would agree. They're backing into it. Locks ball sport by lock. Cleared by Nigger Thompson. Nigger's handball finds Gazza Hetzel. Gazza has got plenty of time. Looks kicks sideways to Craig Ware. How he did that now he found him, I don't know. Craig Ware kicks long, looking for Gus. And Gus gets his hands to it. Can't grab it clean. Andy Hetzel comes out of the pack. Fumbles across to Gus. Gus gets his, uh, a deliberate kick to Troy Wietra. I tell you what, this boy can vote in here, dob it in here from... From there, Wilbur? Oh, that's uh, 53 or 5 metres. He's going to be a good kick, Walshy. Yeah, he hadn't played for a while, but he's when, when he was playing, he would have done it. It's not a bad kick. And it's marked right on the body goal line by um, the lock player in Zach the Shearer. It's a funny name. <laughs> oh, well, I can't remember his proper name. Hellman, is that? Yeah. Apparently, instead of getting his head shaved, he's going to get it coloured purple when Locke wins. Oh, I think she might have sprayed that one. He's definitely not in the purple, Walsh. Out on the full, kick in by Cougars. Well, Locke's had a couple of wasted opportunities, Wilbur. Yes, it's been nip and tuck again in this quarter so far, and we're just waiting for someone to open up the game, but um, there's too much pressure. Kick in by uh, Lyle Phelps, deep in the pocket. Goes on the outer side, puts it up pretty high. Plenty of flyers. And Brick Rokey pulls down a screamer. So and, and, and Seagat, but he messes up all the good work by taking a mark. Finds his player. David Carr. And David Carr. Half back flank for Cougars. Now he Cougars have got the center. initiative now. Looking for Seagat and Seagat. Yeah, Jed Seagat from Senar Ford comes up to the wing, takes a mark on the chest, low down, plays on again. It's a bit of a wobbler. And who's there? Oh, oh um, lock player misses it. Some misses, slip patch. And we try. And uh, Danny Dillon K puts a lot of pressure on, gets another spool. And Taylor clips up smoothly, brings it out to where. Where Ware dodges around. Sideways. And looks for David Foster. Ball bounces, David Foster. Oh, and the. And the, and the what do you call it? Oh, a lovely one out of mark taken by Nigger Thompson. That's a good bit of a good shepherd there. And Phelps, buddy, clears oh. it again. Tom clears it again. To Lyle. <laughs> to Grokey, to Lyle Phelps. This is a bit of a good contest here. 
And the ball's forced over the line. Throw in half forward flank for Lott. Peddler and Ware. Peddler wins it down. No one can pick it up. Andy Hustles Hustles it. Andy Hustles Andy Hustles the ball. Tom Phelps again. Tom's a thousand kicks. Only as far as Pyro, he marks strongly. Pyro holds play up. And he kicks across to Gundy. His kick is deliberately to Gus. Can't get it. Shepard's off. Gus swings on his left. Not much of a kick, but the finds Gazza Hitzel. Gazza's handballs were by Ren. Left footer, straight in. Tom Phelps again. Playing a great game, Tom Phelps. Yes. Pressure put on by David Foster. Holds, holds the ball up. Tom goes on the left. Looking for Zeb Kenny, but and it drops short. And Matty Miller pulls on a nice mark. Neither, neither side can penetrate past the centre half forward, can they, Wilbur? Andy takes a bounce. Oh, he fumbles. Caught by, t by Wren. Wren's and it has holding the ball. Yep, Absolutely. That Wren's played a top gun. Well, yeah, it's good to try it. Like I said, they've got to try and push the ball forward. Got to score. Scoreboard 43 to 37. Cougars lead by one solitary goal. And 11 minutes gone in the third quarter. This is usually the Premiership quarter, Wilbur. Lowby pushes in from there, out in the wing, but and, it's only as and far as... Young Dylan Kay again. Dylan Kay again. Gets on his left. Puts it down the wing. To Gary Hetzel. Hetzel had a ton of kicks, both those Hetzel boys. Looking to come in board, but everything, base is covered. As I said, it's very hard to get for both sides to get past their half forward. He's taking his time. Pops it up now to the half forward position. Off hands. Oh. Lock player gets his hands on the ball. Runs up past. It's in Lock's forward pocket. Gussie Bauer and... Uh, Gussie, not bad, Gussie Glover. Is the ball out on the fall, is it? Yes. Good pressure, Gus. <laughs> Free kick to Lock. 60 metres from goal on the outer side, pops it up, looking for that young 35, can't mark, off hands, down the ground, plenty of numbers, umpire and says, has Lock ball got up. A, Lock got a player's acting hurt there, is it? Young, oh, that's Gus. What do you mean, acting hurt? Tell oh. me about that, Walsh, what's acting hurt? Well, I thought he looked like he copped it in the back and it was sore. Ball comes out, Justin Money's on the ground, Ties the lock bloke up and Wilmington will bounce her again. 60 metres from lock goal. Some of this could just about make world championship wrestling, couldn't it? Turnbull gets the, uh, the crumbs, puts it up high. Troy Seagate can't mark, but Starkey's there to put it on to Wren. He mm. runs down the wing. Lowell Phelps can't mark, and it goes out of bounds. Throw mm. in, out of wing. Throw in. No clear possession winner. Crokey's over the ball. Just pushing there. there. Yeah. She's uh, scrambling on the ground again. She's bottled up again. And this time it'll be Harry Peel to ball up. Neither side's going to save bugger it and let the other side win, are they, Wilbur? No doubt about that. Phelps is in the ruck now and he gets Cliff, it straight down. The Wren gets a nice Wren, kick. But straight. only as far as Taylor. He's been a great no, player. No, it's Shane Doddy. Sorry, Doddy. But he kicks. He's him kicking and Taylor have been very good in the back lines. Justin Olsen brings it to ground, gets it up with a, a beautiful throw hand. to Jeff Phelps on the left from 70, and he bangs it in. Zeb can't. Jeff mark. Phelps is not buddy, not lovely delivery, isn't he? Oh, oh the handball's oh, nice. Great handball, and another handball. And a pressure's there, and the ball is spoiled. Is it going to be forced through? Yes, yes, forced through for a rush behind. Plenty of pressure oh. there. Plenty yeah. of pressure. Now both back lines are applying a lot of pressure doing their teams proud. Cougars 44, Lock 37. Justin Thompson to kick out. Straight Nick Kitten to the centre. centre, looking for David Foster. Ball bounces, David Foster and, and Troy Siebert, Siegert. Troy Siegert battle over it. David Foster's on the bottom. He's got hold of it. Umpire's ball up again. Harry Peel to put it up. It's in our forward position. Puts it up. Jeff Phelps is in the ruck now, brings it down, roves his own ball, gets it out, goes to lock. Andy Hetzel clears to his brother and Gary. Gary swings around, looking for Grokey. 
crikey holds. Well played. Britt's going to kick long to Gussie Glover. Gussie Glover's going to take the mark. Beautifully done. Gussie's within range. Well, that'd have to be uh, at least 55 metres if you reckon he's in range, Walshie. He's currently standing on the edge of the square at Cummins Oval. Comes in on the left and kicks with the right. It's a great kick. But it goes right one point yeah, only. Plenty of distance, just the accuracy is, was off. Pike to key out for Cougars. Gets on that thumping right of his and kicks it. Seven That's a minutes. lovely little kick too. All players That's under the ball. Bit of skill out there with uh, Hetzel and Wren contesting the ball. And it dribbles over the line for another throw in. Talking to dribble, we can do a fair bit of that too, will we? Speak for yourself. Wren again gets it out, but only as far as Hetzel gets on his left. Pokes it into that half forward position. Jackson's over the ball, pushing forward. Oh, and the, the Cougar players met heav heavily. Jeff Phelps it is, got one on the scone. And Craig Ware emerges as the ball, gets on the right, snaps for goal. And she's, oh, I thought it might have been a rush behind, but it wasn't. Cleared on the last line of defence. Was a rush behind. Yeah, you're a great judge, Walshie. Great judge. You taught me well, Wilbur. Five eight to lock, six eight to Cougars. Pike kicks out straight down the ground, and there's a big fly from a lock player, but they're all under the ball. It was the, the lock player in Tim Zack of flew well. The sport the sporter for him. Wheatra's over the ball, balls to the ground. Wheatra pushes clear. Lowby gets it out. Lowby gets it out. Nice kick forward to a Phelps. Phelps, oh, Phelps, Phelps is great um, shepherding from oh, Jeff Phelps. Then he's and he's down and he's after. Down after that. Oh, these lock players have got to keep their heads. Um, well, she's no good doing that. Mm. Tossol's just come off. And Jeffrey's headed right into full forward. Oh, and a lovely mark taken at full at, um, what, what did you say, 20 metres out by the Capini player, by the Cougars player. Can't call him Capini anymore. It's Vinnie Phelps. Phelps, oh. Phelps, Phelps. OK? <laughs> I told you, I didn't want to hear Phelps to Phelps to Phelps and goal. <laughs> you want to call it, Wilbur? Yeah, pretty definite about his kick. 20 metres out, just off the square. Comes through, follows through pretty well. He might have dragged it a bit, and he has. He's dragged it to the left for one point only when Cougars really needed the goal to show some authority. And it's been a real tussle this quarter. The scoreboard now reads lock 5-8 to Cougars 6 goal 9. At the 18 minute mark of the third quarter, Lock's probably had more possessions, but they haven't done a lot with them. Cougars are just starting to gain possessions again, aren't they? Uh, Peddler's marked the kick out right at the true centre half forward position. He's put it into Wren who's been dragged down and should get the free and they've called play on. A shot from Lowby and it's a shocker. Out on the full. We've just got a young lads that come to the commentary position looking for a red esky. If anybody's found a red esky, could you please bring it to the commentary position? Thank you. <laughs> and that's Wilbur's community service of the day. <laughs> and back to the football here at the Cummins Oval. David Foster contests the mark for Locke. The ball's gone Wren. to the ground and Wren picks up again, delivers right to the top of the square where it's marked by Spud Taylor again. He's had a good duck game since he's come on. Yeah, the young fellas from both sides, I think, yep. Walshie. If you look at Taylor and the Hetzels, you look at um, uh, Starkey and... and and oh, you've got to bend your back, Shane. And the ball's on the ground again. Dylan Kay contesting. Yeah, the, all, the, all the young jokers from both sides have played well, Wilbur. It's a credit to them. Ball up by Harry Peel right in front of the scoreboard. Comes in board. And, uh, and Cougars win the tap. Ball goes... Oh, no, oh, I, think free. I think Cougars he has. Free. Yeah, bit high. Bit high. Need a goal wasn't, here. Wasn't high, wasn't high by much, though, Wilbur. Need a goal here. Had a couple of shots and haven't been able to uh, mm. to put them on the board, but need one here just to give them a little break. It's going to be a torrid last quarter. How much time, Walshie? 20 minutes ago, on Wilbur. She's through. 
Corey Turnbull with the left misses no, again. No, she's. Um, Has he got it? No, um, it sounds, looks like um, Britt's going to kick out, so. One point only. Cougar's not doing too well when it comes in front of goal. Not a lot of options out there for Lock to kick to her prison, is there? And he's found Weetra. Oh, just held her long enough. Yeah, of course he did, Walsh, of course he did. Weetra kicks to the half forward line, half back line for Lock. The ball comes to Pyro, one handed. Oh, not, <laughs> what a strange sort of kick, Pyro, but effective. David Foster's handball goes to Andy Hetzel. Andy, he oh Damn. shit, and he runs into an elbow. And the ball will be taken away, boys, if you do that. Bit of controversy That's here. I think what happened, if you want to show what happened, um, Pedler and Hetzel both going for the ball. Pedler, being a big fella, was hit high, hit high, um, Hetzel high, and we've got players now getting all excited. There's a mm. fair bit of thumping going on, which shouldn't be going on. Mm. And I don't know what's going to happen here. I think we, um, we'll just let the umpire sort it out. He's given that lock the ball, and away they go. And the, the block runs the ball forward. The players are still playing on it. Pyro's got the ball right on the half uh, forward flank. He goes to goal across to Zach. The ball's forced across. I think yeah. what Andy might be a little bit sore yeah, for a while. Yeah, unfortunately, Hetzel, um, um, he met heavily with Pedler, the, the ruckman from Cougars. There was plenty of arm and plenty of head uh, collided there. Unfortunately, young Hetzel's not looking too good. Um, the umpire's done the right thing, played the game on, and uh, we hope that um, everything works out all right. Jeff Phelps tries to mark on the right on the wing. Well, they've got a stretch out there. Well, the ball's got, the got, ground, a, got yeah, a stop. Stop, yeah. Pretty unfortunate. How do you see it, Walshy? The elbow got him, oh, but I'd been a ex ruck myself. I don't know if he'd been trying to do it. Big fella so, against a small fella. Yeah. Small fella put the head in. The big fella collected him. Uh, it, will, it will look nasty on the on the on the replay, but whether he meant to or not is another thing. OK, well, let's put a bit of uh, fizz into this game, Walshy, and uh, let's hope everything turns out all right. There's going to be a free kick to... No, there's, I think Peel's hanging on the ball. I think he's going to toss it up. And let's hope that everybody um, collects their thoughts and away they go. Trainers aren't very happy about the result. Nobody's very... No, nobody likes to see anybody hurt, will Absolutely they? not. Absolutely not. And I, uh, certainly wasn't a lot of malice. <laughs> It was a collection of two bodies. The little fella, unfortunately, was hit high by the big fella. Actually, he could be fairly serious the way they're treating him. Hopefully. Oh, these trainers do a hell of a job, Walshy. I think they're just doing every, making every precaution they can to make sure that um, um, the football is looked after. Hmm. Yeah, the trainers are Dung Song heroes of any club, will they? Absolutely. <laughs> we have a delay here while the uh, player is removed from the field. Do we want to have a spell run? It's up to you from the field, but we're back on with play. Harry Peel puts it up on the half forward flank for Cougars. Jeff Phelps in the rut, tries to get it to David Carr, can't get it there. It's worked towards, the, gets over the, ball. worked towards the boundary. Plenty of bodies in there and another throw up. She's getting pretty willing out here, boys. Oh, she's on again. And I think Locke's going to get a free kick out of it. Probably unnecessary, Walshie, because they both, both teams have been playing bloody good football. Pretty, yeah, and they don't want to really start start bloody um, shit now, do they? Throw up again from Peel. <laughs> Ware tries to kick it, only is in front of Lowby. He can't and, get the And Weitra's got the ball, Weitra hand pulls across. He threw it, said the umpire. And then he called play on, and then he pulled it back. No, the umpire's doing There's, a good the job. The umpires are doing a good job. No. no, the umpires are, and they don't like seeing the bitters. Don't like seeing shit happen either. So he gets in the pocket. Looking for Olsen, and Olsen marks. Olsen's been good since he came on. Olsen's kicked over the top of the square, spoilt by Taylor again. Oh, Slavati, she's willing out there, boys. Even more so than it was before, Wilbur. Uh, Gary Hessel's over the ball. Tim Zack has fights hard. The handball out to Pedler. Pedler gets his kick away. Where's it going? Wide to the half forward, pot, half forward flank for Cougars. Swings into the top of the square, two to one. 
Oh, nearly a mark. No, he's hit high. He don't don't give away free kicks, lot. Okay, there's been a, it's getting a bit willing here, but meanwhile, Zeb Kenny's been paid a free, 15 metres out on a 45 degree angle, and could put a goal on the board to give Cougars just a little bit of a break. I think that collision of five minutes ago, Walsh has has really subdued the job a little bit and it's the one that can take their composure and get back in the game. Comes in yeah. now. Do a click for goal. What's his chances, will we? Yeah, 85%. Oh, by the crowd's reaction, he's got it. Kenny's kicked the goal. Cougars, seven goal, ten. Lock, five goal, nine. How much time, Walshie? We played 25 minutes, but we probably lost five minutes over the Hetzel incident. Lost a bit of time on. This quarter probably run for 33 minutes. Yeah, Cougars um, trying to find some new legs. They've given Kenny a, a rest. He's just kicked that goal and he's come off the ground. And uh, Jared Phelps, uh, the captain of the Premiership side last year, struggling with knee injuries, has come onto the ground to try and give him a bit of zip up forward. Warmington puts the ball down again at centre. Peddler against Ware. Ball's won by the Zach. It goes to the ground. Gary Hetzel picks up. Handballs across. Comes out of a pack again. Gary gets his, his kick across as far as Grokey. Ball, ball down. Penny's all the way for Penny. Oh. Yeah, too many Cougars over the ball, and it's Peddler, the one that was involved in the collision, gets the free kick. The big Ruckman has done a pretty good job today. Goes out wide. Finds Lowby. Lowby plays on quickly. Spare man, Jared Phelps, out on the ground. Puts it in and finds Boyd Kenny in a half forward pocket. Gets on the left, puts it up. Oh, and then Wren's loose. Shannon Wren. Had lots of kicks today, Wren. Been very good. Runner up in the middle. Right in front. This might be the break, Walshy, I think. I don't know how I can comment on that, Will, because I, where he's kicking from and the sort of football there is, I should say he'll get it. And you're right, he did. 7-11 Cougars, 5-9 lock. Late in the third quarter. No wind advantage, and lock, I think, have been stunned by that collision early. And there's been a lot of energy expelled in the first half, Walshie, because both teams were full on, weren't they? Yeah, the um, lock seems a little bit subdued now. Um, you got remember in time on the sec second quarter, Cougars kicked three goals. Hopefully they won't do it this bloody quarter, will they? It's Zachary uh, against Pedler. Pedler. Pedler wins again. Was Only it? as far as... And the ball bounces, bo bounce favours Gus Glover. Glass uh, Guts gets it on his right up into the vacant half forward line. Shannon Weitra puts off the ground. Phelps picks up the ball, clears. Maney. Maney kicks across to Lyle Phelps. Lyle Phelps. Pretty composed in the back line, Cougars. Oh, Wren's on his own in the centre again, but he goes down the wing. Pretty high, looking for Olsen. Awesome. And what have we done here? Has he found a free kick from yes. the foe? He's played it against Jeff Phelps. Phelps, he's just trying to make his authority there and got caught that time. Lots of experience, but so has Harry Peel, the umpire. He doesn't, doesn't want to give it back, does he? And Bucky Wheatra gets a kick on Locke's half-back line. Half-back flank. Looking for opportunities. Kicks in the centre of the ground, looking for Pyro. Pyro gets first touch, can't control it on the second Troy grab. Siget. To Troy Seagert kicks up to oh. Olsen on the... On Cougar, he, oh. Olsen plays on and cross to Kenny. Yes, you're Kenny, well. Kenny goes in the forward pocket. Oh, his ball carries too far across to Nigger Thompson. Nigger Thompson's handball finds Spud Taylor. Spud spins out of trouble, the handball to Nigger. Nigger, you're a buddy caught and and gets his little buddy toe kick away. Ball's on the ground again. Up, I'll have to try it up. Late in the third quarter. 30 minutes gone in the third quarter. Cougars live, uh, lead by three goal one. 
Eight goal ten, five goal nine, three quarter time. Very handy lead going into the last quarter. Oh, pretty good down and see what I had to say, I suppose, Willis, and I didn't last time. In final, umpire Warmington puts it up. This is it for both clubs. Puts it down. Pedler versus Zaka. Crikey Pedler wins. wins. The taps out. Goes to Wren. Wren clears it from the centre. Brought around by Olsen. Pedler tries to pick it up. Where he gets it. Puts it out wide. Trouble is, there's no lock players out there, Wilbur. It's all Cougars. Pops it back inside. Wren takes a kick. He finds his. Who's that? Peddler the Ruckman staying in the centre now. Brings it across ground. Jared Phelps just on the ground, fresh. Plays on quickly. Puts it in for Seagat. Can't mark. Goes to ground. Ball up by the umpire. Probably a little premature in that occasion. That's the first time that I've called it against the umpire Walsh. They've done a hell of a job, but perhaps he called it a bit early. But anyway, ball up. 20 metres out of the Cougars' goal. Brought down by Phelps for Kenny. He can't get away. Gives it to Seagat. Off to Turnbull. He doesn't know what to do with it. He goes back to Pedler. Oh, Pedler I don't know it. how that happened, but Brick Grokey ends up with the ball. And he'll outrun Pedler. He'll deliver. Wobbly kick trouble is, and it's marked on the half-back line yeah, for Yeah, delivered Kirkus. straight to Maney. He goes wide quickly. Out of the back line comes... I reckon that's... Uh... No, not sure who that is. Well, she, the sun's in the wrong place. We're just making it very difficult for us to see. Out on the outer wing... David Foster's got the ball for lock. Picks he it dodges up. around. Drives nice kick, forward. looking for Grokey. Gro and finds, finds Grokey. Grokey's trying to do all by himself at this stage. Goes back. See it on the mark. Everything's Gus, covered Gus down Glover gives a nice lead. And it's, and it's Panda in the front. Takes the ball off the ground. Panda lets fly for the home. Gussie Glover in the, at the back of the pack. Takes down a nice mark. Gussie, 10 yards out directly in front. Did you say you bet your $100 you don't get it, Wilbur? No, not in the betting mode, um, Walshie. But uh, Glover's been a... A real good player down forward, as we know um, in the past uh, for the association has been playing in the back lines but up forward today and has been for a while now. This is at least his third goal, kicked those two important goals straight after half time. Comes in and threads it straight through and Locke come back to six goal nine, Cougars eight goal ten. Pretty subdued crowd here. There's a, a great crowd at the um, Cummins Oval today for the Great Flinders um, Football League and Netball Grand Finals. Um, parking room only. Um, but everybody's pretty subdued. We've, we can see um, balloons for the green and gold and, and the red and black. And, and we've got Tumby and Ian United in the, in the netball and everybody's having a hell of a day. Just looking from this angle, I'd say Zach could just about drink a carton of beer by himself tonight. Pedler wins the ruck again. Picked up by Locke. Handball out, goes to Seagat on the left, puts out Charlie Lowby, marks safely. Half back position for Cougars. Goes back, gonna go straight down the middle, looks for a lead from Jed Seagat. Oh, he's bodied out by the lock player and lock. And Dylan Kay clears from the half back line for lock. Nice little deliberate kick. The body's being used well out there today by both sides. Brick Grokey picks it up to Craig Ware. Craig Ware drives it into the half forward pocket half forward pocket is there such a place forward pocket who's been in out of trouble there shanny weetra by hell there's some pressure out there wilbur and there's yeah. a free kick call yeah hanging on hanging on to the cougar player he'll get the free and relieve the uh, pressure there 8 10 58 lock 6 9 45. Oh, Gazza hits it, gets in the ground, but he's pushed under the ball. He gets in the ground, gets in the air, and hit the ground. No, a Grokey he hasn't stopped running, has he? Yeah, he's trying to lead by example uh, while she bit the Cougars boys. Seem to be pretty settled. Um, Olsen's been good since he came on the ground. Jeff Phelps is everywhere. He's now going to, to take the ruck. Seagitt's there, has been there for a lot of years. Craig Ware doesn't let him in. 
It's bottled up. No, Cougars get out of it. Goes to Turnbull. Pops it in. Oh, should have been a mark perhaps to Vinnie Phelps, but anyway, play on. Pressure put Cougars. on by Troy Weithra. And it's come back to Kenny, is it? Yeah, Boyd Kenny gives it to Zeb. Well, that's, that's play on, really. Well, there's lots of comments from the crowd, but the umpire says go back and have the kick, son. He'd be within range, wouldn't he, Wilbur? Oh, uh, 50 metres. Pretty good kick for a young fella. He's pretty given good. it every chance. This is a pretty good kick for a young fella. He's got it home. No touch on the line, says the umpire. You're going to wave two flags, though, will we? Well, he must have an itch on the back of his palm. So it's golf for goal in this last quarter. Five minutes gone. 25 minutes of football left for the 2001 season. Yeah, 64 plays 45, uh, Walshy. Um, Cougars, oh. I think just uh, that little bit more settled as we see Phelps to Phelps. To Maney. Out Puts the, it out, out wide. Out in the vacant wing area, I think she'll beat them all to the line. Starting to play controlled footy. Lock um, starting to drag the legs a bit, I think, Walshy. It's been a pressure game all day. Throw in from the other side. David Carr gets the run of it. Can't pick it up. Shoveled out. Turnbull been pretty good. He gets it on to David Carr. Vinny Phelps runs over it, misses it. Tim Zaka picks the handball up. Handball's across to David Foster. David Foster crossed to Britain, then cops of one behind the ear. Wren's tackled, gets his good handball away. Oh, Wren's been magnificent. He just won that ball. And here's Boyd Kenny, the young Colt. Pick it up on the half forward line, just pops it in. Not and oh. Troy Wheatley takes a nice well, mark at last line of defence. Well, and I didn't uh, didn't appreciate the attention that Jed C got around the ears, but the umpire knows better. And as I said, I won't um, condemn them today. They've been great. Lock come out of the back lines, put it up on the on the air wing, and, and that young um, Zach Bashir takes yeah, another fine. Yeah, mark. that uh, young uh, 35 has come on and played a hell of a game, Walshy. The ball's put up and give Gus Gover every attempt. Gus gets his hands to it, doesn't pull it down, and Gary Hetzel wears Ducks him attention. Ducks the chutney and gets, doesn't get out of it. Big peddler comes through, gets another possession, puts it on to Lowby. Lowby on the left puts it out wide. And it's Wheatra and who chasing the ball. She must be nearly Olsen. the boundary. Olsen be... just keeps pushing it forward. Great effort from Olsen, but Wheatra comes out on top and plants it back into the half-forward line. Peddler lopes out there. Gussie Glover gets his hands oh, to the ball. Oh, Gussie's outnumbered. Um, Cougars, just... Cougars seem to be getting through to the pull of the ball now, Wilbur. And Locke can only get two there. Even now, look at that, it's two to one. Yeah, it comes back to the outer wing. And Gather, Jeff Phelps underneath. Up against Gather Hetzel. Oh, his... Jeffrey uses strength, yeah, yeah. comes away with the ball. Yeah, with a right footer, kicks 45 metres. And Troy Wertra takes another Troy vote. Wertra. And Troy drives it down with a wobbler. And the bounce favours Cougars. Turnbull it is. Puts it out wide for Charlie Lowby. And oh, there's a bit of... Uh, and he's, oh, and what's going to happen careful, here? Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, there's nothing in it, oh, now careful. it's a 50. Yeah, it's 50 metres now. That was silly from Locke. Yeah. That was silly. No, at this time of the day, Walshy, you just can't do it. <laughs> and that's um, your helmeted one from Locke. Who's that? That's Josh. Josh Altman, isn't it? Josh Altman. Mm. Yeah, no, unfortunately, he, he wanted to carry on after Lowby had taken the mark on the wing. Well, he retaliated to the retaliation. Now, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> um, the umpire's taken him down to the 30-metre line, and Lowby has the opportunity to, what I consider, steal the game. Comes in on the right. Not a real decisive kick, but it could be good enough. No, it's not. To the right for one point. Lock 6 9. Cougars 9 11. Three goals, two. The kicker Lock. plays on, but he's in trouble. No, he gets away from it with a good shepherding from Lock. Finds David, wide. finds David Foster on Lock's half back flank. David Foster can make, well, he can make some play now. Young Spud Taylor's run well out of the back pocket. He has one bounce, two bounces. Kick it and deliver it, Spud. And Pyro's. 
Actually, the pressure is still intense out there, isn't it? Now, what's going to happen? Uh, Lockwood caught right. holding the ball, Walshy. They just tried and, to be uh, a bit fancy. And they're going to um, give away There's a 50 metres? Yeah, oh, they're a bit fancy. They're just, she's, um, she's getting fiery again out there. Yeah, they just lost the plot a bit, Lock. Um, I think since that incident uh, in front of us uh, 20 minutes ago when Peddler was uh, confronted by Hetzel and, and Lock just have, haven't been able to hear the... <laughs> and these ladies down the front will come and make some candid comments in a minute. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. 50 metre penalty involved in that. Yes, goes forward and finds Jed uh, Seagat. Been reasonably quiet, Jed, but he's been uh, well covered. Pokes it forward. Plenty of Cougars numbers there and run. Handball from Phelps. Goes to Seagat again. That's Troy Seagat. Back to Lyle Phelps. Picks it up, or tries to pick it up, but it's picked up by Jeff Phelps on the left. Just pops it up into the square. The best man will win here, and Locke take it away. And Bucky Wheatra clears from the Locke's half-back line. Well, he's still he's got control of it, Cougars. and Craig Ware's got it now. It, everywhere goes the handball across to, to Shane Dodd. Doddy clears the ball and dribbles it over the line on, on, on the wing, on the far wing. Yeah, Peddler and Taylor there to see it go over the line. Peddler's had a great game uh, for the big ruckman. Um, here he is again, lines up. Craig Ware over the top, goes back towards the boundary. Craig Ware picks up, puts it on the right. He's been a trier, puts it forward. Cougars, plenty of them. No, picked up by Lock. Big Jack Jackson ball. goes across to Pyro. Pyro drives into the top of the square. Is any Lock players there? No. Nigger Thompson, uh, Gus Bear, Glover, Glover gives chase. What have we got here? Um, Capini clears it in the centre of the ground. Well, Gazza Hetzel is met heavily by... Boyd Kenny. Boyd Kenny. And Pyro pulls down a nice mark. There's still plenty of time in this game, Wilbur, but Locke's just got to score a goal within the next minute or so. And Pyro's kick can't find Jackson. There's balls of the ground now. That's Nigger Thompson, was it? I don't know, but he's but it's put got to Gussie Glover, Gussie snaps, through for a point. Yeah, getting pretty messy down there in the forward line now, uh, Walshy, um, desperation plus. Um, the, no doubt these blokes are running out of um, puff. It's been a hot, for particularly the first quarter, and uh, Locke are just trying desperately to pick up those three or four goals they need to win the game. 12 out. Yeah, it took, um, 12 minutes gone. In the Tom Phelps marks again. He's had a great game. Goes on the left out wide. Only one cougar there. That's young Boyd Kenny. He tries hard. No, sorry, it's Turnbull. Gets it off to Seagat. Seagat goes down the line. Off hands again. Troy Wetra's over the ball. Shannon Wren's there. Had a great game. And um, Bucky Wetra clears the ball. Hell, that must be nearly wide, wasn't it? On yeah, the fall, is it? the fall. It's losing its thing now. Um, the scoreboard... 9-11 Cougars, 6-10 Lock. <laughs> Ball's tapped clear by Craig Ware, um, received by the Cougars player. What is happening out here now? She's down on the deck again. By hell, she's tough out there still, and it's just hard work, Wilbur. Yeah, plenty of heavy legs there while she goes out of bounds on the um, outer flank. It's thrown in now. Peddler's still battling away, they've done a great job. Lock take the ball out of the yeah. Young Zach this year plays out the Goes air. forward, but a great mark. Or Seagat. Cougars again. Yep. All goes uh, pretty confidently in front of goal. But oh. it's marked by... I'll Kenny? pick him in a minute. I'll pick him in a minute. Yeah, Boyd Kenny. The young Colt had a great game. Goes back on the outer side. Finds Ryan Starkey. Ryan got plenty of free space, just goes on with the left, puts it down the line, and it's out of bounds. Cougars now tending to play that negating football. And lock a lot of work to do, Walshie. It's about halfway through this last quarter, Wilbur. It's, it just just needs, um, if a lock could just get that one goal and get a bit of run on, they could still win this game. But I think most players are just giving everything out there. Both sides and their legs are just about buggered. Yeah, I think they're, they're really slowing down. There's those young fellas for Cougars are continuing to run. Um, Craig Ware's been good for, for Locke. Hetzel's been good for Locke. Glover's been good for Locke. But 
There's just so much talent in this Cougar side as it's pushed forward again and a great mark to Jeff Phelps. Lots of experience. Ball was up in the air. Lock tried their heart out, but Jeff Phelps, as you know, ex-league player, um, lots of experience, and with the left foot, Walsh, if you want to be a betting man, I reckon there's a can on a goal here. <laughs> you wouldn't take Gus's up the other end. That's the easiest can. That's a goal. That's a goal. I think that's uh, sealed the game here at uh, Cummins this afternoon, where Cougars go to 10 goal 11, and Lock remain on 6 goal 10. I'd say there'll be five or eight minutes to go, Walshie. Uh, we've had 15, min 15 minutes played, so yeah. It's still winnable, but it's getting very hard to be winnable. When you say winnable, I use money here. <laughs> you cut that out anyway. Back to centre, Peel puts it up. Goes in favour of Zeb Kenny, he's been good today. But so has the lock players, out it comes. He's tackled very heavily, Taylor taps it on. Another lock player brought the ground, and Harry the ground. Fuel says, let me have it, fellas. Mm. Up she goes, Zaka, Zaka wins, the, wins the game. Crumbles. Wren puts it forward to Jed Seagert, gets a bad bounce. His opponent David gets Foster gets the handball away to, to Zach. Zach screwy into the forward line. Now, that's not a kick you see very often these days, Wilbur. And it's picked up by Gus Glover. Gus's handball doesn't go very far. Up to Craig Weir again. Craig Weir's kick into the top of the square. Now, can Locke pull down and mark? No. Locke needs a goal here to keep themselves in the game. It's clear by Cougars. Kenny kicks off the ground. Cross to Matthew Miller. Matthew Miller's in the... Goes for goal. He's off to one side, though. Point only. What more than points, Walshie? Mm. Six goal, 11 plays. 10-11. Four goals in it. Eight minutes to go. Four straight kicks and lock draws a match. Beautiful kick out for oh, the Cougar player on the half. Lovely, line. Good, good mark too. Roy Seagert, what a worker he's been. Plays quickly on to Wren. Wren spills the mark, been a tired player. Wren would just have to be, out, be yeah. your best for I think Cougars, so. wouldn't he? on to Turnbull. Turnbull on the left, puts it up near Z, uh, Jed Seagert territory, but it beats him over the line, and it's in the Cougars' half forward line for a throw-in. Who would you say has been best on ground, Wilbur? They'll probably have a trophy later on for it. Oh, thanks uh, for that, Walshie. I might just contemplate that before I make a statement. Goes out to Wren again. He puts it in. Oh, well, pretty well done by the lock player in defence there. Shane Dodd. Shane Dodd. Dodd. Yep, and, and finds, him, finds his man in David Foster. I think it'd have to be out of Wren, Gary Hitzel, Craig Ware's done, Brick Rokey. Who else for Cougars do you think has played well today? No, no. Well, I think um, I think you've probably put it in a nutshell, and and it's been those young runners, and there's but Kenny's taking Ken, another Kenny's good a, mark. Kenny's a play ball today. Yeah, and he's he's scrambly out there, Wilbur. Yeah, I think Cougars are just um, saving time now. Um, four goals is pretty hard to get with the shadow starting to get pretty Eight, long. Eighteen minutes gone, perhaps ten minutes left. Ball up from Peel again, just outside the Cougars, and it's and Kenny gets a handball across to Jed to Seager. Seager. on his left. He's deep Puts in a pocket. In. And oh, oh yeah, it's got to be a free and kick. He... Oh, that was a shocker, Walshie. That was a shocker. Finney Phelps, I reckon, kicked the last. He's had a goal or two today. Yeah, Vinny's had a lot of a lot of possessions today. All oh, those Phelps, they keep popping up, don't they? Tom's been good. Jeff's has been very good. Lyle and Vinny have played their part. Here he goes to seal the game. And he's got it. Hard, it's hard now, Wilbur. Late in the final quarter. Lock. 6-11. Cougars 11-11. I'm going to run out of things to say. Wilbur, what about you? I, I knew you were pretty despondent. <laughs> Vinny Phelps comes from the ground to give... Um, I don't know who's coming on. Um, all the, uh, those from the, off the bench for Cougars, Jared Phelps, um, 
Hopamani and Tim Zaka wins out of the centre, then receives a handball back from his coach, Brick Grokey. He Tom says, Phelps mops up in the half back line, puts it out wide. Justin Olsen, he's the one I was trying to think of. Those guys off the uh, bench have been pretty good for Cougars. Yeah, he's played well since he's come on. Jared Phelps has gone to full forward. Throw in on the far side. Contested by Van Pyro. Ball's gone to the ground again. Bucky Wheatry gets a kick off the boundary lines. Only as far as Phelps. Actually, it's Peddler. It's Peddler, is it? Oh. Peddler the Ruckman on the half back line pops it up to forward line looking for Jed Seagate. There's a push out and Lock get the free. And they need plenty of them while she to get back in this yeah. game. David Foster has got the click, um, kick on Lock's half back flank. Beautiful kick drives forward up the half forward flank looking for Gussie Glover. Balls the ball to ground. Craig Ware handballs. It's got it still, buddy. It's tough and scrambly out there, Wilbur. Now there's a whistle's gone. Who for? Locks, oh, locks, right. Throw against Cougars. Throw. Craig Ware wins the free. The medalist has another kick. Looking for Gussie. Now the ball's brought to the ground again. The Kenny clears, clears, clears again. Jed Seagert. Uh, Jed Seagert takes it. Strong forward. Strong mark. Right. Looking for Jeffrey. There she is. The big G. Hmm. Yeah, I just think the experience of Cougars today, um, while she is, has won this game again, when you look at those Phil's boys, um, Jeff had a lot of experience, uh, Tom's been to another league and back again, um, and plus you've got those runners of Tossold, Kenny, or two Kennys, uh, Starkey, um, Shannon Wren, I mean the young fellas have been good. Um, Locke have had some very good players in the Hetzel boys early. Unfortunately, one of the Hetzels um, um, had to leave the ground in that um, third quarter. Um, young Taylor's been good. Young Dylan Kay's been good. But it's the, I think, the experience of those older fellas that have won the game. Yeah, once the pace, is, once the pace come off it, those older, taller players are sort of really coming at this last quarter. I'd say they'll be thinking, thank God those clouds came over because it was pretty warm early. I think Locke's best for it. Well, that nearly had to be Brick Grokey today. Yeah, I, yes, I think um, you've got to look at those young fellas of yours. Uh, Dylan Kay's done nothing wrong. The Hetzel boys did nothing wrong. Um, Gussie Glover was good with a few goals. But let's not wrap the game up yet because it's still plenty to go as it comes here on the, uh, on the uh, rank wing here. And Cougars just seem to be pretty well managed. Uh, we're at the 20 minute mark, Wilbur, and Locke's got to kick six goals. 11 12 to 6 11. Taken off uh, straight off the boundary from uh, Corey Turnbull. Knocked over to Lowby. Lowby puts it forward into the pocket. And it's and forced it... over the boundary line by Shane Dodd. Kenny gathers the crumbs, puts it into the square. Young jokers are still trying hard, aren't they? Picked up by Lowby, puts it on the right, and he's got it. I think that's the game. Put the glasses down. 2001, Cummins Capini Cougars, two in a row. <laughs> 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 and some very irate clients down the front, but I'm going to say what I'm going to say. If it has to be said, Will, it has to be said, does it? Yeah, not much time to go, um, while she and I, it, it has been a great game. I think the umpires have done a particularly good job. It was very tight in the first two quarters. That clash in the third quarter, I think, turned it around and Cougars were able to uh, sustain their pressure and uh, have come through again. Lock is still not to be done though, and going to free just in, in front of centre. Jackson's got the ball in the centre of the ground. Garth Jackson drives dri it long. Drives it long, looking for, um, oh, who's up? Pyro was up, his hands to the ball. Crokey's up there too. Kenny, Kenny clears from the back lines for Cougars. No, We've got Troy. Oh, it's Kenny up this other end too, isn't there? No. Uh, Troy Wheatra's got the ball, chips it across to Gazza Hetzel. What can Gazza do with it? He needs to kick three or four goals uh, at once, while she 
We're allowed to do that. Can we change the rules? And Zach pulls down another fine mark. He's been good, that uh, Altman, is it? He's mm. been good. And Spud Taylor's up, up at the forward lines now and uh, puts a heavy tackle. That could be holding the ball, you know, Wilbur. It, is oh, it? doubtful. Doubtful. Doubtful? Yeah, he didn't, didn't really try and get rid of it. Craig Ware wins the tap. Falls on the ground again. Craig Ware emerges as the ball. Chips for goal and sends it. Just put it straight through the middle. Yeah, the middle has done it again. Craig Ware, been a great player for the season for lot. Never give in. 25 minutes gone. Five goals to get. Six goals to get. 12-12 uh, Cougars. 7-11 Lop. As we wind down the uh, 2001 season for the Great Flinders Football League. Wilmington puts it down again. Great bounce. Tim Zach Dan wins it easy. Cross Give to Grokey. Grokey's just trying his heart out. Puts it on the left. Uh, and he finds Panda. Panda's little short chip into Pyro. And Pyro is um, within goal kicking distance. Mind you, if you have to be probably one of his best kicks ever if he if he does it. Oh what uh, 50 metres? Mainly on the back. He gives it everything and it, the direction's pretty right. The ball's not not clear by Cougars. The ball's on the ground again. Have to be another ball up, won't you, Wilbur? Yes, Harry Poole says, give it to me, boys. Throws it up. Taps win by Pedler. Cougars are answering every challenge Locks puts ahead at present. The ball's, ball's right on the top of the square for Lock. Tom Phelps saves Both him again. Win. And the ball's kicked clear. Troy Wietra is leading the ball to the race. Race the ball, wheels out of trouble. In comes Tim Zacker. Oh, they both been heavy. Cleared by who's that? Phelps, isn't it? Yeah, Lyle Phelps. Lyle been Phelps. a great player. Yeah. Puts it out wide. Jed, Jed's come all the way. Jed Seeger come all the way from Sinar forward. Just gathers on the wing, puts it back in board, and finds his brother Troy. Been a great player. Puts it on. Oh, back to Jed. They said, well, we'll share it. He goes on the left. Geez, right. Jeff Phelps is running forward. Trying to get possession, does now, over the top of him, and he's called holding the ball, and Jeff won't be happy about that late in the game of the 2001 Grand Final. Lock kicking out of the back pocket. Gone across goal, and it's a shocker. No, it might come off. Or oh, only just if Jared Phelps could turn. But here's Shannon Wren. Guarantee there'll be something happening here. Makes possession, takes a bounce. Puts it on the right, pops it up, says, gee, if you can mark that, go. Picked up by Justin Olsen, and he'll get a free kick. He should get a free kick. No? It's out in the full one, it will be. He should have got a free kick for... Oh, I, was watching, I was watching where the ball went. Yeah, I'm sure watching, you were. Yeah. OK, kick in from Lock. The game's over, ladies and gentlemen. OK, you've been thinking about this um, best on ground. Who do you reckon it'll be? Cougars, 84. Lock don't avoid the question, Will, but I reckon that the Wren will probably get it. Shannon Wren, runner up in the middle, I think has, uh, has been the, uh, a great player right throughout. Weary hasn't been far behind, but in my opinion, I'll give it to Shannon Wren, as Weary has a shocking kick, and so that's done it. <laughs> Shannon Wren wins it. Either that or Brick Grokey could be well up and well and truly up there. Grokey tried to lead all day and, and didn't have a lot of support, particularly in the second half, uh, Walshie. Uh, obviously a great player and done a hell of a job with Locke, but um, Cougars just seem to be a little bit um, more composed. And, and, the, and the ball's forced over the boundary line again, deep in Cougars' forward pocket. Throw in again. Jeff Phelps is plucked out of the air by Zach. Yeah, but there's no one there. It's all mm. Cougars. It's all Cougars. Here's a goal to Seagat. Seagat has kicked Troy Seagat, the ex medalist playing, had 17 more locks, and I reckon that might be the goal that ends the 2001 season, and it's great to see him kick it. Walsh, I'm afraid that Cougars with 13 goal 12 
have given the lock a real lesson at a 7-Eleven. Yes, they certainly built us some goals on this last quarter, will we? Harry Peel puts the ball down. Let's see the game out, Walshie. Peddler's still there, done a great job to Turnbull. Turnbull tries to get it away, but it only goes as far as lock. Tim Zaki clears the ball. David Carr will mop up in the back line. Been good, David Carr. Yes, gets it out. Tom Phelps, another good player. Gets no, it nice out to Ryan Starkey. He gets it away to Charlie Lowby. Lowby puts it on the right and just bangs it down. Lyle Phelps has also been good, can't mark. Well, well spoiled. David Foster's leading, leading to the ball. He's over the, over the top of the ball. Tackled it fairly high, but they go throw it up. There it is. And that's the end of the... That's the 2001 grand final. final. The end score, 13-12 to Cougars. 7-11 to Lock. A margin of 37 points. Thank you very much. No worries, Wilbur. Thanks. See you next year. Good hmm. article. Oh, thanks for that, Wilbur. Pity the other side didn't win, but that's life. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Ron. Number nine, 
Number 13, David Carr. Number 16, Zed Kenny. Number 17, Shannon Rain. Number 20, Brad Tosso. Number 21, Neil Phelps. Number 22, Justin Marley. Number 23, Ryan Starkey. Number 25, Brett Lowley. Number 34, Craig Maney. Number 36, Troy Segan. Number 37, Damien Pike. Number 44, Jared Phelps. Number 46, Jeffrey Phelps. Number 50, Justin Olsen. And number 15, our captain, Jed Segan. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Uh, I'll perhaps ask Don if he would present the uh, this cup here, the Ross Faulkner Native Brand Cup, to the winning captain and coach of the Cougars Football Club. The uh, MJ Walsh Memorial Shield. How are you going, Don? You're a bit busy. So, Jed, I don't know if you'd love to say a few words on behalf of your team. Uh, first of all, commiserations to Locke. Um, as Board said, uh, you didn't have a real good year last year, but um, you've come from nowhere this year. And you've done a fantastic effort. And today was, uh, was again, a, a fantastic effort. Um, we only ran away in the last half, the last quarter, so well done to you guys. Um, to you fellas, back-to-back -back premierships, bloody hard thing to do, but we've done it, fellas. Well done. Excellent. Uh, the final award is the uh, Best on Ground Award. Uh, it's called the President's Medal. Uh, usually I pick it, but this year I've got a bit of help. And the group of people have decided that the Best on Ground in the year 2001 was Shannon Wren of the Cougar Football Club. Because of that, I think, and I, I hope you've uh, seen some enjoyable football. Uh, drive carefully home. Remember uh, the RBTs over there somewhere if you've had a few drinks.